What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flagrant. Uh, listen, Saturday changed the trajectory of my life, okay? I went to a, a soccer bar, a football bar, if you will, a football club. I don't even know if I'm allowed to share what this place is. Uh, shout out to Kyle Martino and his place at 141 Christie. Um, <laughs> if we weren't allowed to say that, that's my bad. And if we are, uh, you're welcome for the free promo. You got an absolutely amazing establishment. And we went there to watch the Morocco... Christian Ronaldo game. Yeah. Okay? We don't give a fuck about nobody else on Portugal. Maybe Pepe. Shouts to you still uh -huh. playing. But, because I used to use him back in the day. That motherfucker been playing for 20 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, long time. Long time. Mm -hmm. Okay? Madrid used to play for Madrid. Yeah, I see. Okay. So, so Pepe, I watched Christian Ronaldo. Uh huh. Bum it up. <laughs> You know, and I saw my Moroccan people, I saw Moroccan people there, I saw my North Africans there, mm -hmm. and they were so fucking happy about this victory, okay? It was unbelievable. I've never seen a joy like this, and I was, I was, I was taken aback, man. Not only was I taken aback, I was taken forward. Whoa. <laughs> I was taken aback, I was taken forward, I was taken side to side. I was everything, everything you could possibly take into, I was except one thing. What? I wasn't taken to Morocco. Ooh. And that felt, it felt like someone was missing. Mm. Wow. They asked me, they go, Schultz, do you want to go to Qatar to watch the World Cup? Mm. I said, I don't need to be in Qatar. Is Qatar in it? No. The not. fuck am I going to Qatar for if you're not in it? I want to be with the people. Yeah. I want to be with my people. Mm. I want to be with the people that are going to be moved by victory or defeat. Yes. So you know what we're going to do, boys? What are we you gonna... already do know because we discussed it for about an hour before this goddamn podcast. <laughs> yeah. We're going to fucking Morocco, boy. <laughs> ya la la la. Yes. Ya la la la. We're coming to motherfucking Morocco. We're going to Marrakesh. Mm. Okay? We're going to the land of Dove's people. Mm. Okay? We're going there. And by that, I mean the Moroccan people, not the Jews. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's very clear, based on this World Cup, whose side Morocco's on when it comes yeah. to yeah. the Israel-Palestine oh, conflict. Yeah, Allah's <laughs> helped him in a few games, it seems like. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think. I don't know if it's the God of Abraham. Dude, it's so funny. <laughs> Every time Morocco scores, Dub gets so excited, and then there's a giant Palestinian flag that just yeah. takes yeah. up the yeah. yeah. And he has to immediately fake a smile in support of his brethren. The point is, yeah. we're going to <laughs> Morocco. Let's We're go. going to see where your family used to live. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mama. We, mama. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see where they used to run the ports. <laughs> the Jews used to run the ports. Oh, uh, okay. You yeah. didn't know that? No. What happened to them after that? They went to another place. Wait, yeah. Wait, why? But Marrakesh isn't by a port. <laughs> All right, wherever the fuck Marrakesh is. <laughs> we're going to Marrakesh, and uh, we're going as a family. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Some people aren't part of the family, Miles and Shub, but the rest of us... <laughs> Listen, Miles got episodes to get out, okay? <laughs> These ep this episode right now is out because Miles is not in Morocco. Thank you, Miles. Thank, Thank, Miles. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, Miles. 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 Miles almost got a free shoot, trip. Shoot. This guy's brilliant. I was saying, yo, we should go to Morocco to, for this thing, and Miles goes, Genius. I got a great idea. Great idea. Okay? Why don't half of us go to Morocco, and then the other half go to France? Ooh. Still a great idea. Shifty will go to Morocco with you. I'll go to France with Mark. Yes. And so out. he almost. That's and actually out. a sick and idea to me. But that's where he lost it. When he positioned himself to go to Paris, you were like, yeah, wow. Yeah. You no, know, because you, you need oh, somebody no, no. to film what's going on. But you almost lost it too. I almost lost it when well, he was like, yeah, that's a better it. idea. I was like, I don't need to come to Morocco. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> and now he got his little Moroccan pants on. He's all <laughs> in on the thing. Oh, I'm all yeah, in. He's trying to get Even back though they are. got Al's ticket yet, to be honest with you. I don't know how. I've got four stops on the way to Morocco. Hey, hey, hey. He's taking the Greyhound? He's taking I'll take the Greyhound to Morocco. That's a fact. I might not make it after this comment. Moroccans are cheaters, bro. Wow. wow. Wait, how? I think they paid off uh, their coach to keep Ronaldo out. <laughs> With what money? <laughs> With the, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Son, that's son. racist. Son, that's racist you think they, too, but yeah, correct. but also well, correct. That's my correct. my racism is accurate. No, 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 no. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep no. talking that shit. They took no, no. him out the Keep game before, that shit. and it actually kind of backfired because they took him out. What do you and mean? Then, they took him out. The guy who replaced him had a hat trick. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's how it backfired. I'm saying they, so they paid the Ronaldo. coach. They paid the coach to blow this shit because yeah. they didn't Can want we just Portugal. Punching out when he's dumb ideas. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you. I'm yo, telling you. Yo, yo, listen, 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 listen. Dumb ideas. <laughs> listen. Punch him in the side of his head. They scored more goals without him. You don't take the nicest nigga in the world out the World Cup. But he's not that nice anymore. Yes, he is. No, he's not. 
on the come down. Yeah, son. I they giving him 300 mil. You're blinded by his good looks, Alex. I, I don't something? blame you, but it's not, this, it's not this correct. Is, this is something that Wait, I do so under. Like, you know how this doesn't mean they plays good? No, no, no. no that's not oh. exactly how it works. It's not female volleyball. Okay. <laughs> Listen, the reality is Close there's this. To it. There's this uh, there, remember the journalist in Qatar that end up dying? The American yeah, journalist? Grant Wall. Not Khashoggi, uh, motherfucker. That's a different Middle Eastern people. Uh, You're okay. coming in hot. With what? The, we're going to the Lions down right now. I don't know who we're talking about. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Grant Wall. Oh, yeah. yeah Grant Wall came out with the LGBBQ. Yeah. Okay, yeah. shout out Graham Wizard uh -huh. with the greatest, <laughs> what are they, homonyms? <laughs> no, homonyms? Acronyms? Acronyms. Acronyms. I knew go. it was a nym. I thought yeah. it was a pseudonym. So I'm, not, I'm trying to judge you. And I'm like, <laughs> that was pseudonym. <laughs> That's a homonym, I think. <laughs> That's a, a homonym. homonym. Yeah. He got homonym. the greatest homonym. homonym. He does have the greatest homonym. Uh, but, but yeah, what was he saying? Oh, yeah. The rainbows. So, the rainbows. Yeah. So he came out in support of the rainbows, and then he got some, like, respiratory illness, and then now he's dead while he was out. Yeah. Sus. That's a real thing. He said he got bronchitis, and then he had a cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. Heart attack. Sus. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Sus. That's, it is a little bit suspect. That being said, after hearing your awful opinion, <laughs> I... I go, oh, I see why you'd want to murder people when they say dumb stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? After that was the first time I ever felt Qatari. Like, uh, uh, honestly, you, you've acted so I'm... much more Middle Eastern in the past couple of days. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's I know. crazy. Yeah, la, 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 yeah, la, 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 la. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, sick. Like yeah, in what way? Careful with the hoods on these Moroccan burgers. Well, I'm gonna yeah, point yeah, yeah. point I'm gonna very point it. Pointing it down. Because on the hood, it has black in it. What you? What we worried about? Son is nah. That's what quilted garment shit he got on here right now. You don't think I'm killing it? Nah. I, I no, wanted to insult your outfit, but you actually do look kind of cool. Have you I taken know, this today, off? I, today yeah. I killed it, yeah. yeah. You Thank wore you. this during the game, and then I, I, last time I see you, you're also wearing it. I haven't taken it off. He's My rocking. wife hasn't stopped cleaning and cooking, too. So oh, wow. it's an interesting thing to happen. <laughs> what, what? Once. What is she wearing? It's an interesting thing that happens. Are you putting her in a specific <laughs> outfit? Yeah, yeah, she looks like she's scuba diving. But the reality is, she's not scuba diving at all. Shut. She's just keeping the house good. That's no. it. Great it's thing. funny. Yeah. So we went yeah. to uh, brunch the other day for Shu's birthday. Yeah. Shout out. Happy birthday, hey, Shu. Happy birthday, Shu. Yeah. Um, happy birthday, Shu. I don't know why we're looking at um, Shifty. Go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. So, um, Dude, where did he take us? Yeah. Slop Shack? <laughs> wasn't it? Wasn't it? It's like a Lebanese. It's just a Lebanese no, restaurant. It's a, a good Lebanese, Lebanese chain restaurant. called Slop Shack. No, it's not right? called that. Dude, no, no, remember no. that? It was a good Lebanese no, restaurant. No, remember when the waiter came over and, she, and he's, she was like, you just got to punch the slop and then lick it off your knuckles? Do you remember that? <laughs> no, I remember that's that. That's not a place. Yeah, that's that not was she crazy said. That she was like, the crevices are that you. <laughs> yeah. No, she no, goes, no. Like this that. is spoon. Yeah. She goes, this is spoon. <laughs> Lebanese people don't eat with their hands. Say again? There's just a regular Lebanese restaurant. I don't know if she was Lebanese or not. Nah, real, real African with their hands. Oh. They're not real Africans. Oh, that's a good point. Mm. Wait, Lebanese? Lebanese? The Middle Eastern Lebanese? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I was going on Morocco. My brain was still Morocco, but whatever. So sometimes we, we shoot. We North Africans, Yeah, we North Africans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Maghreb gang, saying, bro. We're, saying, we're Maghrebis, right, yeah, Duff? Yeah, we're Maghrebis mm -hmm. all day. Tunisia, Algeria, uh -huh. Morocco. Let's go. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Nah, fuck. Whoa, 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 Nah, we, whoa, we take whoa, it, we whoa. take it. We're taking you for now if you win. If you win, you're African. If you lose... Mm. We're already one step ahead of the other Son, three how African you countries. Right? You're not even right? African. Bruh. <laughs> this is your first Bruh. trip to Africa. Do, do you see that? Do you see that? I'm African. Yo, low key. I'm you grandfathered be, in. You could be Indian, son. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Indian. Yo, that was, yo, key, yo, that was so Indian, that was so disrespectful, bro. That was so disrespectful. I'm so disrespectful, bro. No, I'm being that I'm so for real. Super Indian. Yeah, I think Super Indian. Indian. You but have a honey, Are you saying Native American no, Indian? No, no. Indian from India. But you said a Fuck dirt. I don't want to be those people. <laughs> I would never That's say. what you say. I learned mud. all my mud. Said mud. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. mud is oh. wet. Dirt is dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my international yeah, knowledge yeah. comes from him. They wanted to fuck something dry. They do their women, bro. <laughs> 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 they We're stop. going there. Stop. Do, stop. Well, you know what? Wait, it wait, stings wait. less when you're African. The, now that you're African, 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 it don't bother you It's okay, bro. You know I mean? It's just browns on the brown. You know? I'm going to the motherland, so I'm happy about that. Shout out to us. Mm. Job's stressing over there. Yeah, what prompted this decision? Because yeah. literally four days ago, we were, we were not going honest? anywhere. We're all going to just relax in New York honest? City. Yeah. Like, this four is days ago, you mean yesterday? Yeah, maybe yeah. two days ago. <laughs> it was the three guys sitting in front of us when we were at 141 Christie. Sorry if I can't say this. It's like a private football club. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I don't think you can go there. 
What, what do you mean me? It just makes it more exclusive. <laughs> What's up about me? Why, why can't I go? go? His lame ass. Like, okay, guy. I like, can go. You they walked in with him. That's why you go. No, no, they would like, ask me trivia. Mark was getting exposed. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> when, we, when we went to the <laughs> France game, Mark was getting exposed. <laughs> he don't know shit, right? What, what do you mean? It's not talking. Like, it's he cheering. He was like saying things. I saw people giving him side eye. Like, this rookie-ass motherfucker. This guy don't know nothing about Team France. Son, that was Abba when he was here. He was looking at He was like, no shit, bro. And everyone was it's Ale Le Bleu, bro. <laughs> like, you had to, they had to correct you on how to cheer for your own team, I'm going bro. to Paris. I'm diverting our flight. It's Miles, Miles you're in! Yeah. Miles, you're in! <laughs> Miles, we're going to Paris. Bro. I'm going to get it the is, flight to land. It is, Shub, actually. you're in, Shub. <laughs> Fuck the whites. You can't like trust that. these whites, bro. Nah, I like you that. You can't, can't trust these whites, can't. bro. Son, this outfit right here? Nah, bro. What these bitches crying about, yo? <laughs> nah, bro. You're not supposed to wear pants. It's not a woman's outfit. It's what? not it. This not it? This not it. Why not? So I saw a story and shit like that. Put here and then maybe it's a woman's outfit. Yeah, that is right. You're right, you're right. I had to ask your shorty, did she dress you that day? Because okay. I was about to like rip it, but I didn't want to disrespect her. Okay. And once she said like, nah, he put that on after, I was like, oh, thank God. Wait, that why do you think this isn't it? It ain't it. We're going to a place where this is where they dress. Yeah, you're well, going to wear the that. the way you did it yeah. wasn't it. So maybe it's just <laughs> you. By the way, he's going to spend his the whole time looking for the most fire version yeah, of this. Yeah, but you and know, I do it good, good though. It's not that. What do you do good? I do it good, bro. <laughs> don't Come you on, have some sir. Instagram girl that styles you? <laughs> hey, you don't do only when I go to LA, so I don't have to pack. Come on, only when I go to LA. You can't. Only, you did that to you. You he did that to you. Wow. The guy got not a single yo, thing. You I don't, have, I don't like to pack when I go to LA. So, oh my God. Uh, yo, shout style? out Julia. Does my hat Julia, match my best. sneakers? Is it the 90s? Is it the 90s still? It's not. Come on. You're artistic when it comes to. Have you ever wore a hat that doesn't match sneakers? This guy's 30 dressed like he's 70. Stop it. Come on, bro. Wait, like who? this guy, every day he comes in here, Explain just it, like don't work out. <laughs> Explain son, it. Son, do this guy work, killed bro. it with the who. No, we no. know I'm battling it right now. Know. Why you got to a who? Why you got to a who out there, bro? <laughs> if they don't we know, we battle. Who? Why you got to a who? Bro? Know who out? God damn. I didn't no, 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 no. God damn. Know you know who what? Out. You got it. Good. You got it. You know what? You fucked up. You said thirty. He's damn near forty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is you, he's bro. 40 dressed yeah, 60. Yeah, I was trying to make the, like, the... Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what, I was confused. I was like, am I getting complimented? Like, I, thought, I, I was like, this is a nice... You look great. Somebody. You look awesome. I do feel good. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and I wish he had a worse outfit on, because I, I want to kill know. him. You no, did find, this find a way to make those pants work. <laughs> 100%. 100 Morocco, baby. Son, What's that's up? crazy, but your skinny little legs and them big ass pants, bro. No, you can't tell. You can't no, tell. You can't. You look it's like illusion. you can't dance. No, it's illusion. You can't see. <laughs> they big right now. You don't know. The last thing you need is baggy on your legs, bro. Nah, they big. We good. We good. We good. Yeah. Are there any cultural things we need to not do in Morocco, Dove? Yeah. yeah. That's a great question. Just talk to me because I'm going to fuck this up. Yeah. No, you good. There's nothing like nothing if we say like, wrong. I went to Sweden and I didn't come back for a month. So yeah. what do I not? You're not gonna keep that same energy in, in Morocco you That's true. Yeah, I'll no be mad pussy. Fuck yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. There's exactly. no way. That's yeah. racist. He's way more afraid of Moroccans. You're more confrontational with whites, just admit it. Mm -hmm. You're more confrontational with white people. I mean, that's literally a fact. He says you could beat up any white guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but white people the same way. <laughs> they be talking shit to white people, black guy shows up, they're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what? you know what, you're right about that. Exactly. In high school, I used to have my private school friends call me and ask me to uh, bring black people to fight. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have my buddy like, yo, could you bring some of your black friends to the Shout fight? Shout to Chris! <laughs> yo, <what's up? laughs> Is that real? You were the merchant of death. I, I was the merchant. I'm, I'm the merchant of You're death. You're the merchant yeah. of death. Merchant of dark, dude. Yeah. Merchant of dark. That's crazy. For real, I used to charge 25 a head. What? <laughs> Our 25 ahead, bro. Yeah, right now, you're getting crazy. You don't think I had child soldiers? <laughs> nah, you bro, you, we were in we high school. Cody, <laughs> Cody, 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 So you say you just. That hey, motherfucker inspired me. That was you. Didn't I tell you he inspired me? Yes. I paid for the pamphlet, not to get him out of there, yeah. to see how he organized. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Can I, mean? I get an internship, That's please? That's it. Simple as that. Uh, an African, dog. Sorry, okay, it here. says uh, people in Morocco do a handshake or a cheek to cheek kiss that happens between two people of the same sex. So we can do that? Yeah. So yeah, I can do some fucking rainbow but, shit, but y'all still rainbow, rainbow niggas. No, like, no, no, that don't it's make no cheek to cheek kiss is different. It's not here. It's you put butt lips together <laughs> and you just go like this. Oh, you pull uh, hard. You go like this. Oh. You go. Oh. But you have to make sure it's not a side. You have to go hold the hole. Hold the hole. You have to go hold the hole. Come on, oh, nice. come on. Hey. 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 Dude, don't do that. Dude, I'm trying to be yeah. rocking. Dude, I'm trying to that. immerse myself in the culture. Yo, I think you just French kiss me butt style. <laughs> the one trick you can play on them that they hate this, but is you tuck your dick and balls between your legs when you do it. They don't see it, what? and then you just tickle their little butthole from the back. Oh. 
you go bulldog, and then you just do oh, it like that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's yeah, kind of fun. Yeah. It's called French Moroccan kiss. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, there's so many good things about Moroccan okay. culture. Uh, if a Dude, woman wants to be greeted. Do you like Cinnabons with bees on them? What? Or, or flies? Do you like your baked goods with flies on them? No. <laughs> no. I don't oh, particularly like that. I don't know if we should go then. Oh, uh, why? Is there a Wait, just. I don't think there's any escaping that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's nothing that stops the flies from getting to the sugar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Duff, come on. It's natural, dog. They don't have sky. But he said we're staying, at a, we're staying at a luxury resort. Can we get we some pushback? We are staying at a luxury resort. This resort is No, lost. we're not staying at We're staying at a Riyadh. We're staying at a Riyadh. What is a Riyadh? What's a Riyadh? Andrew? Duff, you tell us. This is your people. Yeah. They're like, it's like a boutique hotel, but it's like a home, but built inside the Medina from the outside, from, from the inside out. So when you walk by, you ever see Dub build up steam to bullshit? <laughs> yeah, like I'm that still, was awesome. From that the, was awesome. It's built. Yeah, it's it's built like, from the inside out. So I feel like a hot chicken Bali right yeah, now. No. He realized he and I describe it, and he's like, "I'm gonna salad through this whole fucking thing." <laughs> yeah. That was fantastic, bro. It's a house in the Medina, okay? In the souk. That's okay, always salad. Dub. Door, What's the, uh, you're gonna see a door. Oh, you're gonna be like, "Oh, where home, are we staying?" You walk in, and there's gonna be a house with a little pool in the middle, surrounded. For the people at home and for me, what's the Medina? What's the souk? The Medina is the the walled city in Marrakesh. I don't even know if it's really walled, but yeah, it's walled. And yeah, it's walled. The Shuk okay. is like the marketplace. And now what's the Shuk? Shuk like is the marketplace. Okay. Yeah. All these tiny little streets. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you guys. You guys will see video and all that kind of stuff. So all these tiny little streets that um, I mean probably have existed for I don't know thousands of years. How long is the Moroccan Empire? Thousands of years, maybe. I'm not, and I don't just know. a bunch of people have their little boutiques. It's crazy. It's just so cool. Some people are selling food. Some people are selling fucking teacups and that kind of shit. Some is like tourist attractions, and some is, you know, you can actually get a get meat there. You know, it's just awesome. And uh, before there was Dubai and all this other shit, it, people would vacation there. But like, this, this is was legit. France is like. But don't compare it to Dubai. This is like real culture. What I'm, exactly. Like, but it was like this was a colony of France. It's like the Yves Saint Laurent was like yeah. inspired by there. His home is there. I think he's actually buried there. So they there. made his home into there. a museum. We can go. That's fucking Ooh, sick yeah. too. Question about the shook. What can and can't you eat? If I go to India, there's very specific things. If I take y'all, don't eat this, don't mm. eat this, Ooh, don't eat this. Can you yeah. drink water? Stay away from the no, water. No, bottled water. It's stay away from like uh, uh, salads and that kind yeah, of. Yeah, anything that's yeah, not that's, cooked, that's basically. That's typical, but everything oh, else. Easy. Yeah, you know, it's halal. So. Wait, why no salads? Because it's like washed in water. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why that is, but I always hear that when you go to third world, it's like don't fuck with the salad. You're gonna have pastilla, couscous, little tagines. The yeah. meat's good. Yeah, and we're going and to like cooking. luxury huh. like restaurants. Like you'll understand. It's a pretty. I'm not liking this. Pretty nice place. So your first time to Africa, you're already backing out. I mean, it's not real Africa. But. Hey, oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, hey, put, oh. put Morocco you're, you're up against any showing. place in Africa you're right now. I'm just saying. Yo, that Paris shit. Al, Al, man, Yo, this dog. is crazy Yo, that right Paris now. shit sounds kind of nice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, Miles and, and Mark were selling his Paris shit, and I was like, I mean. Who are you going to get to replace Al now? <laughs> wee wee. Let's wee wee on these niggas. Like, what's up? Wait a minute. Whoa. We can replace Al. <laughs> Does it have to be, do we have to replace by race? Yes. Uh, Jamil, tell Jamil. <laughs> tell Jamil, you gotta have two. Listen, you gotta, you gotta tell Jamil. Tell Jamil he's absolutely coming. Mm. We're making this happen. Will it right be now. dangerous if I wear a France jersey and support France while we're watching the game? Yes, gets a but great do question. it. But the the. What is so cool about this, and what I've, I think we've spoken about this <laughs> Wait, about what? football. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you just said, you said yes, yes, it's dangerous. And do it. But do it. Yeah. But, and you look like the Sun King. Oh, oh yeah, you exactly. You literally look like I'm the Louis, epitome. Bro. What's of, the Sun ah. King? The uh, Louis the 17th? 16th? 16th? Yeah, yeah. Just the king that yeah, yeah, was right. the first, he like, had long, long gay IG hair. Thought. Yeah. But I mean, like, do we want him getting fucked up out there? Like, stone and shit? Bro, I can handle it. But this is years of anger and resentment. This is why football, the World Cup, is so good. You're just replaying war. Every one of these countries have gone to war. Like, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people have died over this. Morocco was colonized by France for years. Are they still? No, they're their own. No, did, does France have like the right to any of the minerals class, or that kind of that shit? Part, I don't know. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you don't know shit, bro. Maybe it's, not, hey, it's hard knowing stuff it's about really you. Hard. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really honestly yeah, difficult. It's, it's say, hard knowing know. things <laughs> about your shit. Yeah. You guys know everything. You guys are Andrew knows crazy. one thing about every country. That's easy. Listen, I know everything about Scotland. Ask I know shit about Scotland. fucking Puerto Rico. 
Al, stop. Son, <laughs> Al, stop. Rich Port. Al, Rich stop. Port. Rich Port. Al, I knew that. And I killed that. Al, I murdered that. Al, and I knew Carr. And y'all motherfuckers said I was wrong Al, on Carr. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all. You don't know, you don't know, don't know I was, cities in Puerto Rico. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. I know the importance. Koki, the little frog, that's our national animal. Two, three cities. Gang. Old San Juan. Son, you know New was... San Juan. <laughs> 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 Yo, what's the tax rate? Yo. Ooh, the tax is nice. What's the tax rate? Uh, depends. Are you a citizen or are you a rich person that are taking Ooh! advantage of it? Al, come with some come heat. Come on, come on. Al, come with some heat. Come on. Hey, how much uh, battery life you got on your iPhone, <laughs> on your Apple Watch still? Right now? Yeah. 81%. Oh, me too. Nice. God damn, I'm bro. 86. bro. You're 96? 86. Or 86? 86. Yeah, what problem does the switch it? Why are you Why Apple do you think watching? that you have so much more battery? Do you think it's because you're lazier genetically or something <laughs> like that? <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just not using as much of your energy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I'm so good. <laughs> you think that's it? You're just sitting I woke around up, doing I woke up a little late this morning, but okay. nah, that, that may be the case. Also. <laughs> uh, all this I know how to do is, get, is, is battery so far, but this shit is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> now I can't get out. Of, oh, done. Okay. There we go. Uh, welcome Ooh, to the Wi Fi. See? You see that? I know all that. <laughs> okay. Can you identify the Coqui? Top left. Bang. Nah, he got this. Come on, okay. I know. Listen, no, Puerto we got important shit to discuss. I know discuss. Puerto Rico. Hey, there's important geopolitical I'm shit to discuss, than y'all, Mark. Niggas. And you're getting right. off track. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. better yeah. than y'all. Okay. Yeah. Can we can we talk about yes. this? Yes. What do you think about Britney Grinders? Yo, shot Britney Grinders. Say Grinder. her name right. Correct. <laughs> I've been wondering why this shit is bothering me a little bit. Okay. Can you explain what happened? Well, Britney Griner was uh, arrested in Russia because she brought uh, a vape pen that I guess had cannabis oil in it. Mm -hmm. Now, was she arrested for that or was she arrested because uh, Russia used her as a political pawn? Because they were about to invade Ukraine. Yeah, I think we know why. Yes. yes. Okay, I imagine that she's, you know, snuck. Yes, it's illegal, but I imagine she snuck this vape pen in many times before. She goes there, she plays, I think, over the summers. I forget what other WMEA season, but like a lot of female basketball players, they go to Russia and they play on these Russian teams. And these oligarchs in Russia prop up these female basketball teams in Russia. It doesn't yeah. matter, whatever. So she gets arrested. She's there for months, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the U.S. and Russia do is a prisoner swap for basically Brittany Griner for The Lord of War. The Lord of War, you've seen Nicholas Cage. Merchant of Death. Merchant of Death. The, yeah, Merchant yeah. Of, the Lord of War was the movie. Oh, He's known gotcha. as the Merchant of Death. And uh, this is a guy who's uh, basically sold weapons around the world, you know, destabilized tons of fucking African countries. Now, I'm not acting like we're fucking honest in this and we're scot-free in this. I imagine we've probably, we being the United States of America, have also courted this guy and used his specific skill set to help us in certain situations. So I don't know if we're like the best. That being said, we definitely arrested him for some reason mm -hmm. and we have him locked up. Um, so we trade him for Griner, and people are upset. They're like, that doesn't really seem like a fair trade. I think this is the reason why it's a little bit bothersome. They've also put in this other American who was being held there for months. There was a guy who was held them on uh, charges Marine. of espionage. It was an ex-Marine. Ex I don't ex know if you're ever ex, but it's a Paul Whalen, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so the, the question everybody's asking is, why are you trying to get Brittany Griner out who, who knowingly broke the law when you should be trying to get this American, alleged American spy, he just says he's just an American there, who was doing his duty for country. Now, I don't know what the rules are with spies, when they get caught, what you do with them, I don't know, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But I think the issue with me is, it seems like they're, they made the trade for only Britney for political points. It seems like it's a little bit of like a, um, uh, a little bit of like a virtue signal, if you will. Trying to get favor with voters. That's what it seems like. Yeah. And, you know, there's a Democratic president. Who are the constituents that he's going to support? He's going to support gay, minority, yeah. women. And it's like, oh, I check off three boxes. Let me get that person back. Who does he not have to care as much about? White, male, Marine, mm -hmm. who would probably be voting conservative anyway. So I think there's a little part of me, and I need to know more about the story, but I do... I don't like the idea that we're gonna trade this merchant of death, a guy who's responsible for probably tens of thousands of deaths and like destabilization around the world, which we're also responsible for, I'm not saying we're innocent, but it doesn't exactly feel like a fair trade. And if you're doing it just to get like a PC pat on the back, 
It yeah. feels a little gross, right? Yeah. When that same administration could be letting out all the weed offenders, the nonviolent drug offenders that are in prison right now in the United States, it could be letting every single one of them out right now. And it seems to be perfectly okay with them continuing to be in jail. Mm -hmm. In some fairness, I do think they're trying to work on that. I do they think. Are. But I agree with you. But what's to work on? You could just do it. Ain't I no think work. Isn't the states' rights thing? I mean, yeah, you can't just like flip a switch and just well, let you could out do, You could do it federally. You can't do it state-wise, but you right. could put every single person who has been convicted of a federal crime mm -hmm. that has to do with drugs that are nonviolent, at, at bare minimum, just weed. Yeah. You could immediately Especially remove them from yeah. federal prison right now. Yes or no, right? Yes, and he he did pass something, but it was a, a very small thing. It was like a nonviolent, but also like... Uh, um, I forgot the We talked about it on Idiots. Yeah, I forget exactly. exactly what it was. But it wasn't exactly does he, it. Can he do that on his own or does he need the Senate? No, he can do it on his own. He can do it, yeah. Yeah, that's but valid like, then. It, it just really, it's tough because like if you have a major drug dealer, it, their cases usually aren't just, oh, I just traffic drugs. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's like getting maybe Al Capone it, for tax evasion. It's like yeah. you're really getting them for this other shit, but the yeah. only thing you could get them for is a tax evasion. Yes, so right. I feel that. So it's like if you just do this blanket thing of like, oh, just nonviolent weed shit. It's like, ah, oh, this motherfucker, we know he killed a bunch of people, but we can't charge him on that. Exactly. And now you just let all or the people out. Or he called for the murders of yeah, it, which is so totally like, understandable as well. I like I like everything. It's These tough. things are way more yeah. nuanced. Yeah. Uh, I just want to give a little pushback. Um, I don't, I think it's a combination of both. I do think it's political. I also do think they cave to the pressure. Like, did we, did any of us know Whalen was locked up in Russia? No. So nobody's tweeting, nobody's commenting, but when... Britney got locked up. Everybody's tweeting. Everybody's Yo, saying something. That's the he other felt thing. the like, pressure. Every conservative that's upset about it, why weren't you talking about that's what I'm saying. him the way that everybody else is talking about Britney Griner? Yeah. Mm. Like, if y'all... Now, granted, Britney Griner is a more famous person than him, sure, but make him famous. You have platforms. You got blogs. You got Twitter. Like, yeah. every politician that's complaining that Britney was taken out and said to him, I need to look at your tweets and mm -hmm. see if you once tweet about that that's motherfucker. Show some receipts, yeah. Exactly. Or are you using... Are you using Waylon as a way to score points against the Democrats. Yeah. Now you're using this motherfucker who's in jail, this yeah. so-called hero. You're using a hero. Yes. So that's foul too. But if you were one of those people that have been trying to get him out for years and to know if, or I guess he's been locked up for a little yeah. while. Yeah. So it's I think like, it's like close to 10 years. He's been there? I think so. Oh, I thought they, I got I think check. it was a six year sentence or something. He got. Oh, really? I'm not sure. I'll check. But like, I, I, I totally understand your frustration if you've just been clamoring about this nonstop. Mm -hmm. And then but to the, no avail. But the uh, fact that none of us have heard about him, I don't think too many people were. My right. issue wasn't with Paul Whalen as much, because to me it's like, all right, they got a spy, we got a spy, or we're not a spy, but like a criminal. Yeah. To me, the issue is we're letting out this guy who's like incredibly dangerous, just based on his history. Mm -hmm. And if you want to just talk about like from a racial standpoint, this guy is responsible for the death of, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of black kids in Africa. Oh, yeah. And no, literally what he did, he would he would arm the child soldiers. Yeah. Guys, okay, now this is not going to be a politically correct answer, but he was a businessman. People are asking, hey, I want guns. He's not the ones putting the guns in the kids' hands. He's making the deal with the guy who's putting the guns in the kids' hands. I would, I would, I would step back because it's... What they were doing is arming these militias in an effort to destabilize regions that had resources that they want to make easier to extract. Yeah, but he just cared about the money at the end of the day. That's why he got caught, because he made a deal that sounded like a really good deal with a DEA agent just for the money. He didn't give a fuck who he was selling to. No, I'm not saying that his interest was hurting them, but he knew that they were being hurt. And yeah, I think, but I he's think just he, a businessman who doesn't care. I think like, he owned the shipping companies, too. Yeah, but McDonald's kills or gives people high blood pressure and kills people, they don't give a fuck. They're I selling, they're swinging I, I do think there's, mm -hmm. you, I think you're drawing a parallel on something. There's like degrees of it, right? Everything has shades. So there's a shade of, hey, we push products sometimes on here that aren't necessarily good for your health. That's different than going to kids and saying, hey, here's guns. If you're not happy, you're not really smart enough to know how to handle anything, but here's guns. Let's go, let's go cause some turbulence and then we'll benefit. And the US does this. So we we're not, we don't have, we don't not have blood on our hands. But this guy's a problem globally and to the US. So you're not getting him. 
And if he was doing that maybe earlier in his career, I mean, they found him originally to get him out of, they had to get him out of Russia. They caught him in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't think for many years of that, Russia had a dealing in how he was actually moving. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, I'm not trying to but What I'm saying is not dude, just a business man that like, he was, he was an every... equal opportunity. He was definitely taking a side at some point. You know, if, if we're playing chess with Russia, which but we I always mean, are. We bought guns from him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he, I'm sure. That's we hired him. No, no, there no, was a. We there hired were, one of his companies that it was like a shell company, and we found out after that. Uh, like two of his shell companies, America bought guns from and, for to help like our. Uh, I don't think any of us. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think any of us is going to say America has no blood on their hands. We have plenty, yeah. plenty. Uh, but again, if we're playing chess geopolitically, which I think we always are, and Russia is one of our main opponents, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. you can't give this guy up. It's just like. You got fleeced in a trade, and maybe that's why it bothers me as an Indian, because I don't like you losing a negotiation. <laughs> but you got fucking, you got washed and it's in like, this negotiation. I, I guess maybe that's worse. it. It's like washed for what? Are we becoming a victim of our own virtue signal? Do we need to prove so much that we care about certain marginalized groups that we're willing to put our entire country at risk? Yeah. Like, that's a concern. Yeah. Are we trying to show what good people we are so much that we're forgetting the risks that that causes? And this guy, who knows what he's going to do? It's not like he's just going to retire and go to fucking Yekaterinasburg and get a nice little villa and, and just chill. Every, everybody knows who he is now. So it's like it's easier to track him and what he's doing. Potentially, but, like, but Russia's also going to protect him like they were protecting him before. That's yeah. why it was so hard to get him. Yeah, I don't think there's any, like, independent contractors in Russia. I think like it all now. goes back to the top. The other side of things is, like, weren't we looking mad pussy that Britney was locked up for some think, bullshit I think this and makes locked up look for nine months, and we knew that's like, yo, that, that penalty was way harsher than the crime. Like, we were looking a little pussy. What are we supposed to do? I know. It's a tough situation. That's why this is, this is a big deal. What are we supposed to do? It's like, do, are we supposed to go to war because Brittany Griner took drugs to a foreign country? Not go to war. Do we, we have try to get her out? Do we have other I prisoners? Think we gave like, up do we too have too much? Yeah. Do we have other leverage points with Russia? I don't know. There's that, no way we only have one prisoner. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> they wanted. They're not stupid. They wanted the most known prisoner. Yeah. They want to be able to say, "Yo, Nicholas Cage <laughs> is out of prison for Brittany Griner." Why didn't we just give them Nicholas Cage? Son, that would have been never. so much easier. Don't don't. That would suggest have been that. so much easier. Son. Mark, don't suggest that. He's a treasure. We should have. Okay, but yeah. we could just yeah. swap them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah. No, that, that, that shit is tricky. I think man. they wanted to embarrass, embarrass America, and that's yeah. what they did. Yeah. So, what makes you look more pussy than not getting Brittany Griner home is giving up the Merchant of Death who has caused way more problems for you and globally for Brittany Griner. And have you seen the PR uh, thing that this guy's on? Uh, I saw a little bit of something on Grand Wizard's yeah, page. Go he, ahead. But he's going through all these different, like, uh, he's, he's going through. a podcast through, Yeah, he's doing a podcast. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's yeah. dropping a special. He's got a special coming out. It's crazy. And, uh, but he's saying all this stuff. is like, America has lost their Christian values. And it's like, he's trying to drive the wedge. It's really interesting. They're not dumb over there. Like, yeah. now he's a political tool. And he's like, he's like, you know, the people in the middle of the country, they're totally fine. And I got along with them fine. And they were curious about Russia. And they were interested. But the people in, in the cities on the coast, you know, they're the ones that are so, they're buying all the propaganda about Russia. And it's like, huh, maybe those Facebook ads. You know what I mean? Like maybe Russia, maybe oh, yeah. Russia was really, really doing some of them Facebook ads, like yes. driving that division so we're fighting each other here at home instead of actually focusing on them. Yeah, it's... Um, There's a 60 Minutes piece that I think F.A. sent. It's from like 2012 and they, they did a little thing about how they locked him up in the sting operation. And you see this guy in jail. He's, got, he's at like a table. He's got his fucking arms up, legs crossed in shorts and boots. And I'm like, yo, this is a, this is the baddest motherfucker. Just how little he cares about being in jail and how comfortable he looks. I'm not letting that guy out ever. Mm. I'm not letting you out ever. Yeah. You're not even remotely affected being in prison. You're just like, eh. Yeah. You let that guy I'm out, sure. that's a problem. That's sure, a bad I'm motherfucker. I'm sure he saw the camera. He's like, sure. mama look good for Sure. Yeah, yeah, I know. still wouldn't be able to act that well. Uh. You know what I mean? The guy looks fine. No yeah. bruises, no nothing. They can't touch this guy up in prison. Yeah, yeah, they I don't shake know. Britney's head. Oh, it's a it's a tough situation. I just wish we could have negotiated better to like get multiple people. Yeah. Or to trade for a lesser first round draft picks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something. <laughs> like Miles brought this up before. Like we had traded with Russia for like a Russian pilot and like a drug smuggler. Um, we in April. Yeah, there was like a journalist that was there, an American journalist who got captured in Russia. No, he's ex marine. Oh, he's ex marine. Yeah. And so yeah, he's over there. And then there's a Russian pilot that got captured in the U.S. for, for like drug smuggling, and they traded in April. 
That was a better trade on uh, for us. That's my point. So I'm that, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I have a feeling we're gonna get that Paul Whalen guy back. They just wanted this to be a trade oh, that made you. us look stupid yeah. and cause more infighting. Exactly. To your earlier point. They want the worst guy who had a movie made after him yeah. to be traded for the girl that I don't know hates America plays basketball quote, and quote, quote unquote, unquote hates, hates America. America. Like that's a fucking incredible trade. That's how you kind of embarrass, I guess, America. Now, what Russia doesn't realize is we don't give a fuck for, about anything for more than three days. <laughs> so like we, Russia's thinking, oh, we got them. There's gonna be a real thorn in their side. We, Brittany Griner, well, nobody will care about in three days unless she like dunks or does something in a basketball game. And then we'll just go and be like, see how boring basketball is when women play? Like it, it, we'll just go right back to normal of not giving a fuck about the WNBA. The WNBA had their time to shine and we'll go right back and not giving a fuck. The, first, the person I feel bad about is Paul Whalen. Mm. Because for a few weeks, it felt like the whole United States of America really was doing, willing to do anything to get them back. And he might've got his hopes up. He might be talking to his family back home. Like, yo, they're trying to do it. It looks like it might be it. They're gonna get you and Brittany. And now they get Brittany and it's like, sayonara, see you later. You're going to be in this fucking jail for the next six years. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, I'm not saying I don't feel bad for him, but at the same time, he had four passports. He was, uh, I think, like... He's a spy! Yeah, like, pushed out of the fucking military. Like, hey, you know the risk of what you're doing. So Wait, it's like... Was he pushed out of the military? Yeah, I think he was, it was like... Or a, is that the, the story? Oh, that's yeah. what... Like, yeah. I would... I, if well, I we can spy, only go by what we yeah. see on paper. My, my point is that if I'm a spy, if I'm going to be a good spy in another yeah. country, you can't look at my record and be like, four-star general. Incredible <laughs> but that's, loyalty but to that's the United the States of America. the risk of being a spy, though. But yeah, the risk yeah, yeah, yeah. of like, going to I'm play saying. in Russia... At that time, was also no, it wasn't hey, you're high. Going, it this wasn't is, high. No, when they locked her up, this was way before the war started. Like there was tensions. It was like yeah, three or four. The, war, tensions, the war yeah. started years ago. Bro, they've been playing there for years with no problem. No, I'm pretty She's sure been it playing was, there for years. Was, no, 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 no. No. Sorry, Miles, can you just check the timeline? I think it was like fairly shortly, but it was like pretty short, like quickly before the war. Listen, listen. No, they knew, we we didn't know it was going to happen no, before. But first they of all, we don't know what we knew. They knew that they were going to do it no matter what. Russia, exactly, but not America. But. I have a feeling if Russia is gonna pl plan a war, we're gonna know that there might be a war happening. Like, that Paul Whelan guy ain't the only spy in Russia, mm -hmm. just like we got Russian spies here right now. There's some fucking Russian assigned to this podcast. Cuck. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But there is. Like, we're an influential fucking podcast. Maybe I, he's a cool guy. How do we know he's yeah. a cuck? He's a cuck. How could he not be a cuck, cuck? Uh, what if we bring him over to our side? What oh, if he's we listening? double agent him? What if he's listening? He's like, man, these guys are kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, what's up? They're good guys. Oh, I just gave him a little Yeah, Spencer. We, 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 we good, we good, we good. Yeah, we just pull him over. Mm. To the asshole army, bro. <laughs> Come on. Dude. The real army. Yeah. Dude, that? He's probably a patron. Do we have, we have to have at least one Russian spy that listens. At least. There's probably many spies. I think there's a lot of spies that listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you spying this room? I know we have a few Chinese spies. You think so? Yeah. How do you know? Because we gang gang. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. And there has to be spies that listen just because they need someone to listen to. Yeah, Like, yeah. there are spies that have nothing to do with America, but they are spies. Hmm. Like, right now, there's a spy listening to this, and, like, he's a little bit concerned. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's like, what the fuck? They're talking about me. Like, he could be in Istanbul. What if you are? Oh, like, there's a spy dude. right now? That's like, how do they know I'm in Istanbul? Dude, there's some Japanese dude just hurry carring himself <laughs> because we found out that he's a spy, but we have no no clue that you're actually a spy. We don't know that but any spies listen. But we do know. Listen. We do know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. If Miles isn't on my fucking single for everything that I just did, <laughs> I swear to God. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, he Making sure. I was a great wink. All I'm trying to say is we have spies that listen to this podcast. Yep. We might have warlords that listen to this podcast. Whoa, Coney? You think Coney's listening? Nah, I don't, don't know, know what well. Coney's up to. But they're guaranteed there's at least one warlord. Yeah, yeah. What do you think warlords do when they wake up in the morning and you have nah, a cup of. Nah, they don't wanna hear us. They wanna hear like people that motivate them to kill and do bad shit. Maybe like, they we, kill so much they just wanna nah, chill and hang like out. Okay, how could, how could you? Over when he's hanging out the phone, fucking yelling. Yeah, 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 they was, yeah. No, I think that they also wanna break from war. Yeah. You don't think they come back? No. Kick their feet up? Yeah. Ain't a little bloody blood on their shoes just listening to some pod? No. You don't think that that's possible? Mm -mm. Mm. Impossible. Impossible. <laughs>
Now I feel like you know a fucking world. Yeah, you <laughs> know a world. What the fuck? Why are you that too hot on the trail right now, bro? Jesus. Like, come on, bro. I'm protecting Tell us my the god. fucking warlord that listens to the hey, goddamn hey, pot. Chill, 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 chill. Did you get them pants from the Taliban? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the Taliban. So, I'm going to be good in Morocco. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm going to be so know, good. Bro. I'm going to be so good in Morocco. I don't know if you're going to be good in Morocco, Yo, man. Dumb, not I'm after like... this. Are you Taliban? Nah, of course not. Be honest, bro. Of course not. Al might be the spy, yo. Al might be the spy. Al's got spy energy. Al would be time. the worst fucking spy. <laughs> because the spy, spy is supposed War to be like the best. for country. And Al would be like, yeah, 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 but I'm for me. But I'm also for like... Al would be the best double agent ever. <laughs> yeah, but to yeah. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd, be, it'd be perfect. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's so, got it. Gang, gang. Wow. <laughs> gang, gang. Al, you yeah. would be an absolutely horrible spy. Or the best. I don't know. Yeah. I think you would be a worse spy, I'll be honest. Yeah, you can't hold secret ever. By a mile. I'm not going to hold secrets. <laughs> That's the whole point of being a spy. I'm not going to hold secrets it's about the whole it. point of being yeah. a spy. Nah, bro. It's about exchanging secrets. As long as I can tell someone, you just need to give me someone I could gossip to immediately. Yeah, the podcast. Exactly. Yeah, no. That's but if not I don't good. have the podcast, you got to give me something I could call back home and I could tell you the cool shit I learned. Yo, yo, yo. Nah, Who got cancer? But first, someone's going to tap your phone. he's on the phone. Exactly. That's my point. Someone's going to tap your line. <laughs> Come on. You don't no. know how to use other technology. <laughs> I'll, use, I'll do this one right here. Oh, I got a picture. <laughs> <laughs> got a little New York Times article. Don't want it. <laughs> oh, whatever. I don't know how to that's get it. That's my away. point. I think you'd be a bad spy, dude. No, no, no. Think about it. The government's thought about contracting you, for the record. I want you to know that. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's the perfect cover. You can, got emailed? Can we, no, you got an email? I, I, didn't get, I didn't get emailed. I didn't get an email directly. You got a phone call about me? It was a WhatsApp. The CIA mostly does WhatsApp. Hold on. You told oh, me. Oh, he's a baby. baby. He's a baby. <laughs> What's going on, Sabi? Okay, okay. For, for people <laughs> listening, uh, a dog <laughs> just walked Hi, baby. in. Hi, baby. We're talking about Andrew being a secret agent. Don't you think I would be a good spy? Here, talk on that mic right there. And nope. then you can remain your anonymity. <laughs> Okay, don't you think I would be a good spy as long as I could gossip to one specific person or the country? As long as I had someone to tell the secret to. Maybe his wife. Go gossip to the whole country. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's what he would do. Yeah. He would gossip Listen, to the whole country. I just That's need to share cool information do. with people. That's all I'm saying, right? So if I, could tell, if I could tell you, if I could tell my guy at the CIA, as long as there is somebody that I could say, hey, I found this cool thing out. There's gonna be a war in Ukraine. Well, that's what a spy I does think eventually, you tell right? Everyone, everything. Not See, if I have everywhere thing. all at once. All right, I'm gonna tell them some cool shit I learned. Exactly. That's my cool point. Fact. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I'm Come gonna on. be like, the worst you know, why, you know, I uh, dates are so popular, or whatever. No, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll exchange cool, fun information, but I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna just blabber. I'm not a blabber mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mm. have to to afford this <laughs> lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? But if, if listen, if I could, if what does this spy get paid? Probably thousands. Probably about the same as you make now. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Do you think they pay spots? I'm that kidding, good? dog. That's what oh. I'm saying. You're not willing to take that pay cut in an exchange out of bitterness. You're just gonna gossip everything. All right, maybe I won't be the best spy <laughs> in the entire world. Salary of a CIA spy ranges from twenty-one thousand to five hundred thousand. Who the fuck is making twenty one thousand? So if you can't turn a twenty one thousand dollars spy, bro, if you can't make that twenty one thousand dollars spy, less than a teacher agent, salary. That's what are you doing? Sad, bro. There's no security clearance for twenty one thousand dollars. He's part time. Yeah, he, he might like be one, part time. One, one. <laughs> like picking up shifts on the weekend. Yeah. Like, hey, I can't spy this week. Can you do Tuesday, Thursday spy? Can you spy? All right, all right. He's spy ten ninety nine. He's ten ninety nine spy right there. But right, yeah, look, bro. I'm not going to spy. But you, this is the perfect front, right? Comedian travels around the world doing shows, but also oh, listening fuck. in. Oh, yeah. As long as it's international. I thought that about him. Me? Yeah. I'm not a spy. French, Canadian, all this extra shit. Nah. A little gay. Like, <laughs> it's... I don't have enough allegiance. Yeah, you remember when Al wanted to be in the CIA? Do you remember that? <laughs> nah, it was uh, Secret Service. Secret Service? And then Trump ran, and I was like... I'm good. Damn. That was the reason? No, you fucked it up. <laughs> well, I, was, yeah, I know, it was in LA. We were going to All Star Weekend, and y'all were smoking weed. And then I was like, nah, I can't. I'm trying to be in Secret Service. And Andrew's like, you sure? And he's like, all right, give me the weed. <laughs> <laughs> I That's fucked it, it up. <laughs> I, I fucked yes, it up. Yes, you I did. I just offered you a good time. Son, don't do that. If somebody's trying to do something with their life, you need to have more <laughs> discipline, bro. You would be horrible Secret Service. Oh, I would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, shoot that nigga. Bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
There's no way. There's no Yo. way you're jumping in front of the book. <laughs> yeah, There's no way. They would have weeded your Son, ass out. A Son. million percent. They would have weeded your ass <laughs> like out. Like Barack, no I'll try to push him away, but everybody else, no, nah. you're not doing that. Nah, nah. you got him. You're not, you're not saying I'll Barack. I'll push him. I ain't going to take the bullet. You're not going to say I'll try Barack. To push him. I would wear a different outfit from everyone. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, why are you wearing Jordans with a suit? You try to push him into the bullet. You take it. I do. I tried. Yeah. Nah, worst Secret Service of all time. Okay. Um, Any last thoughts about Brittany Griner, the whole deal? Um, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing really. Nothing really else. I mean, it just does feel a little bit of an unfair trade. But maybe I wasn't motivated as much by like what Brittany did for basketball, for mm. female basketball, because there are certain there are certain NBA players where I'm like, like if Steph Curry was locked up in Russia. Trade it up. He Merchant changed, of death, whatever. Change the game. You can't shoot like Steph. <laughs> yeah. I look at that Victor Bout guy right in his face. You cannot shoot like Steph. Steph, I trade for a Merchant of War. So I think I just wasn't influenced enough by Brittany Griner. Who do you think wins one-on-one? -on -one, Victor Bout or Brittany Griner? Scissoring competition? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Basketball? First to seven. I think Victor. Still at 55? Probably. Nah. He's locked away for a while. There's a lot no of time. No way. All you do is play, play basketball ball. when you're yeah, locked up. Ball. They get nice. What do you think he's been doing? Like she's nicest so tall. Dudes, they she's come actual, out of ball. She's and an he's playing bully nah, ball, too. <laughs> he's playing bully ball, that jail yeah, ball shit. Nah, like, bro. oh, he's bodying. There's no way. There's no way. Also, do you see the way Brittany was walking at when she was going to the, like, at the bro, prisoner how crazy swap? is the trade? Yeah, prisoner, the, the trade was crazy. Did you see it? No. Bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, But also, you got to look at Brittany's walk. Bro, the actual like video of them trading, I didn't think it was gonna be like that. I thought it was gonna be like more professional and like. No, a... that's just like the movies. Bro, and they got to go to neutral territory. Where did they do it? Cause I saw a motherfucker dressed like me, kind of right now. There was a guy with the the white. Yeah, I think it was a UAE, UAE somewhere in the Middle East. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, they just pulled up, swapped them. I couldn't believe it. I like blew my mind that that's how they, that's how they do it. Yeah. Anyway. Hold on one second. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second. Um, now, listen, you know I love Geology for their easy to use skincare, and now they have expanded and taken over your bathroom. Geology has launched a slew of brand new products. Not only Geology, the best in the skincare game, okay? But they also released a ton of new amazing hair, body, and other skin products. Whatever you need, Geology has you covered, okay? From their affordable skin revitalizing serum to their shampoo, killing co-wash to their brand new super clean body wash and deodorant, which honestly have some of the best scents ever, okay? They take care of all your bathroom needs. And right now for a limited time, they're hooking you up with an absolutely insane offer. Right now, if you go to geology.com and use the promo code flagrant, they will give you an additional 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. This discount stacks on top of their current sales prices. And that's not all, okay? They're also giving you an additional bonus offer on the brand new super clean body wash when you add it to your trial. This is one of the best offers that you're ever gonna see at geology.com. Make sure you use that promo code flagrant. Get it before it's gone, okay? I'm telling you, this is the one. And also, if you're worried about your skin, this is an absolute no-brainer. You take a 30-second diagnostic quiz, they're gonna formulate a regimen that benefits your skin's needs the most. Think about that. It's not just one size fits all. It's your size fits you. Geology's got your back. Geology.com, promo code flagrant. Now let's get back to this. Look, whether it's work or it's school or it's other activities, your schedule is getting busier, all right? But that's okay, because Freshly is here to help you begin that new routine better, okay? Save yourself the time and effort. Let Freshly take care of your weekly meal prep with satisfying dishes delivered straight to your door. Get started today, and you'll get $140 off your first five orders. That's over a month of nutritiously portioned meals, all without the shopping, prepping, cooking, or cleanup. I mean, think about it. You get that protein-packed chicken parm, you are good to go. Absolutely delicious. Nutritious as well and it's prepared for you, delivered right to your door. They have others as well. You can choose from their signature collection or try their many gluten-free, dairy-free, plant-based options, as well as carb and calorie conscious favorites. And now you can try Freshly for yourself and lock in huge savings across your first five orders, okay? Revamp that routine of yours, okay? This fall, Freshly is gonna save you 
money. It's only for a limited time. So make sure you order today. You get $140 off your first five orders at freshly.com slash flagrant. That's freshly.com slash flagrant for $140 off your first five orders. Freshly.com slash flagrant for $140 off your first five orders. Now let's get back to the show. And we're back. Um, Mark, talk to me, man. What else we got, bro? Elon Musk went on stage with Dave Chappelle and the entire audience booed him. Because they were in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Right? I believe so. I think Dave... Joked around it like it seems like some people you fired are here, but that was, that was funny. It was funny, great line. But legitimately, they might be there. Yeah, that's true. Like, where is Twitter's offices? It says Silicon Valley, right? Probably, yeah. I think they got a few offices, but yeah, I'm sure so they must if, have one. Over if there. not them, their homies were definitely in the crowd. Yeah. And also, if you go and you go to one of these like uh, tech companies and you lay off, you know, three thousand people, four thousand, five thousand people, and you got a bunch of tech motherfuckers that can afford to go to a Dave Chappelle show. It's probably all tech dudes in there anyway. So they're going to probably side with the people who work for a big tech company, not the owner of the big tech company. Did you see the video? No. It's, it's interesting. You want to watch like yeah. a couple seconds? <laughs> Just gets worse from there. But Dave rides for him. Dave like supports him and he's like, nah, fuck the people booing. Like I mean, yeah, he awesome. brought him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> he can't bring him out that boo bag. <laughs> the people have spoken. Yeah, that's true. But he like he like that made a, funny, a couple jokes at him, like at his expense, like just like goofing, but then yeah, you like wrote for him the whole time. Yeah. I I don't really get why. Like, what was the connect? What was the link up? Why would he want to bring him out? Just because it's like a cool dude that... I think it's a fun flex. <laughs> and it's also, I'm yeah. sure, fun for Elon to yeah. like... Listen, Elon either enjoys being liked like every other human being on the planet or understands the power of, 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 of press, like being in the ether. You know, mm -hmm. he did a great job of not ever buying a fucking advertisement for Tesla and simply just being the mascot for Tesla himself. Saved so much money doing that. So the tricky thing is it's hard to be rich and liked. It's even harder to be rich, liked, and famous. Mm. Yeah. Most truly wealthy people, we don't even know their names. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the Saudis all dress the same, so you don't even really, you know what I mean? There's like anonymity in it, right? Is that what they like, do, you think? 100%, yeah. It has nothing to do with their culture. It's like, how do I be a prince worth billions of dollars and just walk around the mall like anybody else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hire 20 lookalikes that look just like you and walk around the mall. That's it. Boom, everyone's wearing the same shit. Kind of genius. Kind of smart. But like, you know, we hear these like famous names, the Rothschilds, you know, the Rockefeller, maybe the Rockefellers lost all their money, but like you hear these famous iconic names and you don't really know who they, like who's the Rothschild that's alive now? We knew one of them dated fucking, what is that rapper who never puts out the album? Uh, Exhibit C was the song that was crazy. Yeah. Oh, Jay Electronica. Yeah. Jay Electronica, uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and that's the only reason why she popped up, but like, these people that are part of these like legacy families that are worth all this money, you don't know about them because they've learned what new rich people have not learned yet because they're newly rich, is that with wealth comes resentment, animosity, and hate, and it just makes it harder to keep making that money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So most people who have legacy money go, I don't want nobody to know how much money I got. Mm. Yeah. It is better to keep the money and not flex it than have the than flex it and then risk the entire internet trying to cancel you. Yeah. I mean, look at Liver, Liver King. I think the only reason Liver King is canceled right now is because he said he made 100 million, his company's made 100 million dollars. And that number popped up and it was like, hold the fuck on. I don't know if it's the only reason, but it contributed to it a lot. Mm. Meaning like that was, that was the, the what is it, uh, the, the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. Not even the tip of the iceberg, it was like that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Mm -hmm. But there's something about money that breeds resentment. If Liver King was out here like, it's really hard for me to make a living. 
this life is really difficult, but I really believe in it. People be annoyed and be like, ah, oh, whatever. I don't even care if he's on steroids or not, mm. blah, blah, blah. They might even be upset. They're like, why are you putting your family through this? Right. A hundred million? Yeah. That's why one of the most impressive things Rogan has done is no one really knows how much the deal is. We're still speculating. Yeah. Mm. Everybody else, Alex Cooper, we know how much her deal is worth. Mm. You know what I mean? The guys that are a little familiar with it and then somehow manage to keep it under wraps, God bless him, dude. You're smart. The hundred percent. It's better to keep that shit. Yeah. It's bet. It's like, so I think maybe, and who knows? I'm sure Elon is, you know, aware of all this. I'm sure he's studied all this. I'm sure he's crunched all this fucking data. He's he looks at all his friends that are incredibly wealthy, and I'm sure they go, "Listen, it's better. You're not a fucking famous person. It just makes it easier to move around." He's probably calculated all this, and he's like, "I have so much more influence, and I can move markets if I am a famous person, but I'm going to have all the scrutiny that I have to deal with." I don't know if it's a but purely, my twelve kids won't have to. Yeah, but I don't know if it's purely uh, data and like number crunching. I think he also just likes the attention. So, so there's the question. It's like, which I don't think is wrong, but I do think that that is like intrinsic to him. We all want to be liked. Yeah. The the question is, what happens when you're experiencing less like than hate, and do you retreat? Do you retreat into the political party that's more supportive of you? Is mm-hmm. that what has happened? Is that why he went from this like apolitical cultural figure to this I'm going to be more right wing now and the left has left me? And mm-hmm. or is he really just retreating back into his supporters because he wants to be liked? Yeah. Or is that genuinely how he feels and he just felt like it was time to make a political statement? There's no question that he likes attention. The question is can you weather the negative attention? Mm-hmm. And that's hard. Yeah. Not everybody's built for that. Especially when you haven't had that. He's spent probably most of his life at this point in being the public eye. Exalted. Being really adored. Yeah. Like, just with the rocket stuff, Tesla, yeah. like the PayPal shit. He's like, going through it right now. Yeah. It's going like, with the Twitter shit, he is going through it. I don't think he's ever been uh, hated this much. And so I think that was a play for, hey, let me go up with a very popular guy and try to get back into people's good graces and it kind of backfired. Yeah. The irony is, I think I saw like 5 million views or something crazy like that when he pulled it. And yeah. It's on Twitter. <laughs> it's clip of him getting embarrassed. Uh, yeah. He paid $43 billion to watch yeah. himself get embarrassed. Uh, and it probably stings more because I'm thinking, you go on, even if it's San Francisco, you're going on stage at a Dave Chappelle show. Mm-hmm. You think the non-woke, anti-woke, whatever you want to call them, audience is going to be there and they're going to support you. Mm. And when they boo you, that's got to be like, you, Yo, what that, is That happening? is a great fucking point. Yeah. It, you would assume that Chappelle's audience, at least Chappelle's audience now, after all the anti yeah. They don't like canceling. They don't like cancel culture, yada, yada, so yada. You would think they're like, oh, we support the guy who's also against those things yeah. and like liberating this platform from those things. Yeah. For them to boo as well. Yeah. God damn. That's bro. just a rough feeling in general. Like I don't like reading negative comments on YouTube and like yeah. the idea of walking out in front of a stadium of... However many people. That was that was an arena, dog. Yeah. That was uh, to your point. That wasn't like a comedy club. Or yeah, that yeah, was yeah. in a. So even if they're they know people who worked at Twitter or whatever, mm-hmm. there's twenty thousand people there. How many of these motherfuckers knew somebody at Twitter really? We yeah. about to find out how autistic he is. <laughs> like, because if this doesn't bother him, confirmed. I think I think it does because he blamed it on like anti woke like left left wing whatever, and it's like you know that's not really true. What do you mean? Like, I think Elon said, like, oh, the people booing me were just these, like, super left-wing, anti-woke people. And if you're Elon, you know those guys aren't coming to Dave Chappelle's show and paying hundreds of dollars. The last yeah. show that they're yeah. showing up to. Absolutely. And also, it wasn't a few people. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. If the there's 18,000 in there, you got a few thousand people yeah. 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 that are hopping on. Yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, I wonder if he backs away from it. I want, We're going to find out what he wants more. Does he want to be successful and wealthy, or does he want to be liked more? And he might find out that it's very difficult to be both of those things. Mm-hmm. Being unanimously liked and adored, the only person that I can think of that was both wealthy and unanimously liked and adored was Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. now that's gone. Yeah. Now he's a polarizing figure. But yeah. he was the last one that I can look at and be like, wow. Here's a person that had strong opinions, but both sides were supportive. They thought that he was absolutely hilarious. They wanted to go see his shows. And until the trans thing, yeah. It's yeah. interesting. Who else is it? There's guys Mega like Megastar. Oh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanye yeah. was somewhat kind of like Tom that. Hanks. Yeah, I mean, like Tom he, Hanks. Keanu, like, Keanu Reeves. Yeah, the completely apolitical figures. Yeah, yeah. yeah but the they one, own. The part they don't 
uh, take a stance on that's it. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah. I was thinking Warren Buffett, but he don't come out. Yeah, yeah. He, I drink the coca do. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I feel like Kanye. That little bullshit Kanye folklore you got to throw out there so people like him. Like, I sit on a bench and I drink a <laughs> Coke. You know the most annoying part of his day is walking out of his Maybach and then sitting on a stupid bench in Omaha and then cracking a fucking Coke and sipping it so that they can take a picture of it and post it to Instagram so he can be, like, normal. You don't believe the story at all? Yeah, maybe he enjoys it. What about the McDonald's story? Do you story? believe Patton Oswalt's story? when he was, got a picture taken of him writing his fucking eulogy or whatever it was for taking a picture of Dave Chappelle. Do, do you believe that was sincere and thoughtful? And, nah. Hey, I'm going to write this letter. Just If you could, just take a picture of it. Is there a chance that he can actually enjoy that? No. <laughs> what if he's just such but a you robot? Enjoy, you you enjoy no simple chance. things. He can't break routine, maybe. So maybe he's superstitious and he's yeah. like, yo, these, these Cokes and McDonald's have made me billions of dollars. I can't break this routine. Like a guy who got to wear his lucky socks on game day. You see what we do with rich people? <laughs> you see what we do? We can't you just wake like, up and look want, at the sun. I just want you to who be does that? You. You wake up, you look at the sun. Because Superman that? told you. You've been doing you, it, bro. I haven't been doing it. I can that. tell you've been you've doing it. You've been saying you've been doing it. No, I'm it. saying I'm missing the sun. <laughs> I need sun. But I'm just saying, maybe that's just like a thing that he likes to do in his life. Like, I can see there's a world where it's bullshit, and I can see a world where it's like, I he actually may enjoy that. What do you think is more likely? Honestly, I'm going 50-50. No, nah, I don't. He's I don't, an old ass man. Like he, what right, does he want? I mean, a counter question: What's more fun to talk about on the podcast? Because <laughs> I, I just realized I'm not fun. This guy. Yeah. Okay. As I stood back and watched you, you guys, know what? I was like, you I'm not what? bad for even interjecting yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying that he's bad for it. What I'm saying is, it's a, it's great uh, mythology that you should bring up around you so that you're likable. Yeah. If he's this old sweet teddy bear that drinks his coke on a bench. You don't think of him as this absolutely maniacal investor that became the richest person in the world. And those things don't work together. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, like you don't make a billion dollars just drinking Cokes on a bench. Yeah. You make a billion dollars going, how can I fucking extract as much wealth yeah. from <laughs> every other human being that's yes. on this planet? How can I do it? It's not like he's doing this through donations. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he's not giving people access to heaven and going, eh, give me a little bit on the way in. This is take. Berkshire Hathaway? <laughs> I'm going to take. His company, Berkshire Hathaway, is a real estate company. They're not like, hey, what's the most altruistic way to buy and sell property? Yeah. They're like, hey, what can we buy that's in ruins? And who flip can we it. take advantage so of the most? Who can we exploit? But do you think he's like that hands on with everything going on at the oh, company? See how you we think love him? No, you see how we by being hands off? Billionaires? <laughs> son, We're son. breaking your heart. No, you I just, I just think. Billionaire by delegating? Your your I think, no, I think he just hired the smartest, like ruthless people. He's like, oh, you're ruthless like me. I'm going to hire you to make the decisions that I would make. Son, the ruthless person would just take his fucking job if he wasn't ruthless. Nah, it's like he wants to go sit with a coke on a bed. He doesn't even blame himself. Bullshit. You have a business, right? You have to work really hard, right? Like yeah. you, you have to work really hard. And you're flying back and forth. Your every business three days. is successful, and you have to work really hard for that, right? Yes. Now think about how much money your business is 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 growing right mm -hmm. now. Think about how hard you have to work to do that. Mm -hmm. Now think about billions of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. You're about to prove my point. <laughs> go, 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 go. Because I would love to hire somebody, delegate, and sit on a bench and drink a cola. <laughs> I would love but, to do but, but do you think that you could do that and grow your business? Oh, no. They're not going to put as much in it as I would put oh. into it. And you have to put this much in yeah. to make the money you're making now, which yeah. is good. But it's not billions. Yeah. Ain't no bench sitting, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever sat, drank Coke, and made billions. Never once. They sat in rooms with other people who are also psychopaths going, hey, do you think that those people who can barely afford to make any money, we could sell them uh, trailer homes for, uh, uh, what is it called? We can give them mortgages on trailer homes, and the mortgage rates can be like five times higher than the average mortgage rate uh, because they're at risk. Do mm. you think we could do that? Like, it sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Th these are crazy people. We should do that. Who should? That sounds like an awesome but, idea. Here's the, the, the most brilliant thing about Warren Buffett. This is the most brilliant thing about him. Nobody knows what the fuck he does. We know he drinks Cokes. Mm. He loves McDonald's. He loves McDonald's. <laughs> Just like we love Coke and we love McDonald's, but we don't know what he does to fucking squeeze. Merchant of wealth, dog. Mm. Merchant of wealth. We don't know. He even comes out every once in a while and says, I should be paying more in taxes. Do it, pussy. What <laughs> <laughs> fuck you waiting for? That's more insulting. Old bitch. <laughs> Pay it! Ain't nobody stopping you! Nobody ever stopped you from paying.
paying money in fucking taxes? <laughs> that shit is patronizing, bro. Yo, ain't it? Oh, my oh. secretary pays more. Pay more, motherfucker. <laughs> taxes are killing you every single year. I should be paying more in taxes. God damn, bro. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> pay the money. Why don't you pay Help other me people's pay some taxes, taxes for them? Yeah. Help me. Help me. You love doing charity. Pay other people's taxes. Shit. Pay your secretary's taxes. Pay our taxes. Pay fra flagrant taxes. How yeah. about that? That's it. There you go. I mean, it's crazy. That, that was his big mix-up. He was trying to be goody two shoes with that one. That one, I almost. <laughs> you did not. I almost looked for the bench. You did. I, you know, I almost looked for the, That's how I know he's not the bench. I went for it. No, you did not. I looked at every bench in Omaha. <laughs> Remember when we did that show in Omaha in the bar? You yeah. think I was there for that show? <laughs> You're a spy? I was there for justice. Ooh, you were a spy. You were a spy. I ain't even spying. You were spying, you're a spy, bro. You spy, not you a spy. I'm a mm. Oh, with the comic of death. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> Bleep that whole section. Yeah. <laughs> you keep enough in, but make sure you yeah, bleep yeah, yeah. that whole section. Okay, nice. I'm just saying, it is, that is genius. The fact that we don't know what he's done to make his money. Son, he goes to the bench once a year, has somebody take a picture, and then be like, I just saw Warren Buffett at the bench. Nobody at that bench every day hey, checking Bill, on him. Hey, Bill Gates, how's your PR doing? Ah, oh, it's not good. They think I'm vaccinating everybody. You want to take a bench pick with me? <laughs> Come on down, let's take a bench pick together, and the people will forget that we out here squeezing them dry. <laughs> I mean, right or wrong? You know, no, I'm not saying not that they can't wrong. do it. I'm not saying they can't do it, but it is a good lesson to learn, which is if you're going to be worth tons of money, one, don't let motherfuckers know how you make your goddamn money. Yeah. Because once they find out that it's some other shit, they're going to either be resentful, they're going to hate you, they're going to want to kill you. And then two, make sure you have some sort of apparatus to uh, continue to push those narratives. Yeah. You know, that's why you see all these billionaires got a fucking media company. Right? Mm -hmm. Bezos got the Washington Post. Uh, uh, what's, it called? what's his face got MSNBC? Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. Microsoft, NBC. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like every single one of them. Come on now. Not the first time some billionaires have got caught up in some trouble. You seen this? Let me see. This is wild. Your boy Billy Gates walking in front of a hotel. <laughs> Whammy. <laughs> they pot our boy in the face. They hit oh, him with they got, one. got two on him. They came with the double up. Oh, three, three on him. Yo. He ended up not <laughs> pressing charges because uh, he believed them to just be like mischievous pranksters. Because you can't press charges because you're a billionaire. You yeah. got to do the good PR thing. I'm just saying. Pied in the face, it's just pied. Yeah, that, was a, that was a pretty good prank. Son. It's hilarious, to yeah. be honest. Son. You think, you think he set it up for them to, of course. to make him normal? <laughs> of course. Son, son, we sitting here feeling bad the, the for this all -time billionaire. billionaire I hater, bro. For him. I don't, because I know he paid them motherfuckers. No, nobody <laughs> felt bad for him, right? He's so devious, they don't even know they got paid by him. Oh, his shell company? Yeah. Pie throwers they got a red page. It's like, yo, let's pie up the dates. <laughs> And then they figured that shit out. William Smollett over there. That's just it. Fucking... It's William Smollett. 100%. <laughs> like the Antifa motherfuckers. They all getting paid by some billionaire too. Go throw some milkshakes on people. Where you get the money for the milkshakes? <laughs> McDonald's. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Who's really making the money? That milkshake machine wasn't working at McDonald's. They got that shit working. What happened immediately afterwards? Mm. Antifa? That's I don't know. it. Okay, all right. There we That's go. That's it. I hope one day you become a millionaire, man. Yeah, I know. So, I really one do. Day, one I day really, I'm going to touch a millionaire. I really hope you do. Yeah. One day. One day. You think that people like me as much as they do now? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to listen back to this and be like, I know, right? I I know. Know. I'm an Let me idiot. tell you something. I'll be honest with you. Right. This podcast ain't happening if I got a billion dollars. I just want to you know. Let, you, let me tell y'all something right now. I'm such a billion dollars. We ain't doing this more fucking Come on, podcast. dude. Three no, times a week? Son, the best hang. The best no, hang. Three son, times a week, son, dude. Son, son. No, 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 no. Come no, on, no, no, bro. No, no, no. You got to no, look no, normal, no. bro. Now, if you're a billionaire, you can't be hanging out in public, dude. Nah, this is, this yeah, is hey, your, hey, this is your bench with the coke right here. hanging look, out at McDonald's. Can I tell you something? <laughs> I'll be honest with you. If I make a billion dollars, it's by accident. I didn't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to billion dollars. He's putting that out there for that's future. Yeah. He's like, oh, shit. Sure. Uh. If I make a billion dollars, I don't want it. <laughs> I make a billion dollars. Hey, Hollywood, don't get me rolled. I'm not a good <laughs> no, actor. No, right. no, this guy's movie. good. He's good. Listen, 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 I'm trying to put y'all up on game. Okay. <laughs> this one, is the opposite of the you secret. Find out. You're the opposite of manifest. Maybe that's the secret. <laughs> oh, oh. Maybe that's the so secret. So since you don't want the billion dollars, if you make a billion dollars, you're giving us half. Let me tell you something. No, if wait, I no, make a no. billion dollars, you're gonna give us half. If I make a billion dollars, you're gonna give us half. 
I'm giving the people money. <laughs> <laughs> Pay your taxes, bro. There's new taxes. Up. They just get all the money. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you. If I touch a million dollars, I did not mean to. <laughs> that means he's setting up charities and he's giving the money to his kids. He's uh, funneling it like that. Yo, 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 yo. A trust, so, you know, know what I mean? No, 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 no. So what about us here on the yeah, couch? Yeah, you know? About Don't boys. end up here. You got yeah. a yeah, 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 yeah. You got a successful business. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> you got a successful business. No, I thought you love yo, billionaires. If my, they don't give you nothing. Sorry, if I my, thought you love billionaires. If my business you make a billion dollars, I want it. <laughs> I'm I'm tried saying, I'm I'm tried saying, I tried to make it. I tried to make it. If I make a billion dollars, Al gonna be copping please for me. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, absolutely. So it's just like taking Sean. vacations in a mall. It's <laughs> just like one of the guys. Bro, he Why still schedules thinking? date night in his <laughs> schedule, bro. Like this guy's so Yo, normal. 100%. Bro. If I make a billion dollars, it's by accident. Golden Doodle. It's by accident. Come on. Something went wrong. You can't be a billionaire with a golden I'm doodle. Honest. I'm being honest. If I make a million dollars, something went wrong, Al. Yep. I left an investment somewhere that I didn't mean to, uh, and then it made a billion. You got gifted some crypto for your wedding or something. Hey, Real you're talk. welcome. Real yeah, talk. I, mean, I hey, I didn't mean to. I know me. I don't of, need a billion dollars. Speaking of <laughs> the only ethical billionaire, this guy. He did I don't it. want it. <laughs> hey, if there's any billionaires out there, don't give me no billion dollars. <laughs> no one's gonna give you. A billion I don't want it. No one's gonna give you a billion dollars. Hey, keep your money. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep your money. No one's ass. gonna give it to you. Keep your goddamn money. I don't want your he money. He don't want bro. it. He don't want it. I don't want that problem. He don't want it. I don't want that problem. <laughs> what problems? Billionaire problems, bro. Like what? Yeah. Son, guy can't even enjoy a Coke on a bench, bro. Like, <laughs> that's a good point. Enjoy a Coke on a bench, bro. People shit. calling out your actions, yeah. everything, every little thing you do. You can't even walk on stage in front of 18,000 people <laughs> to celebrate. Crazy, you can't bro. even walk out on stage without no jokes, no stories, nothing, hoping 18,000 people gonna applaud for you. It's and so then, rich, Exactly. Yes, what the love, fuck else you gonna think is? We love how rich he is. That, what would they clap for? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, the idea that he thought that they were just gonna clap Without any entertainment. He made oh, rockets, bro. He's yeah. going to Mars. That's cool. He's pushing bro, those human I rights like forward. It. I got a Tesla. I love that he, shit. He built Tesla, yeah. electric cars. He's saving the planet, Andrew. He's supposed to. We That's true. To he did not shit. do anything. What do you mean? He invented PayPal. I'm saying in that moment. <laughs> in that moment, he didn't do nothing. Fab, you walk on stage, everybody claps. You haven't done anything in that moment. You just I got up there. I made them laugh before, so they think they're going to laugh bro, again. He invented Tesla before. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he no. had some funny tweets. No, that's a good ass. He point. invented Teslas before, and then they walked out and they're the like, world, "He's gonna invent something, son." But we not clapping for that. <laughs> we clap because motherfucker invented uh, electric car. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, dude. All right, that's a good point. I was going Come somewhere on, else. Figure with out it. what you're trying to do with this guy. What is this hat, bro? You've been fidgeting with Can this shit. Can I be honest with you? For now. That shit got hot, bro. <laughs> my <laughs> my head was getting like hot. But I didn't put any of the product in my hair, so my hair looked too wispy today. Uh. This is the struggles of being a multi-millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get the pinky, gotta get the pinky, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. But that, don't, don't try to fuck with me, that billion shit. Uh-uh. Uh, you gotta no, call yo, dumb honestly, in. I make a billion dollars, I'm gonna keep on giving away a million so I can keep being a billionaire. Wait, what? Let me try it one more time. <laughs> hey. I make a billion dollars, I'm gonna keep on giving away a million so I can just be a regular millionaire. Nice. So every time I hit the billion, I'm giving a little away. To us. To some people, man. <laughs> but why not? So You're already giving it away. So I'm going to give it, you know what? I'm going to give it to a trust. Hey, All that's right. a noble thing. Who to do you, I'm going to give it to a trust. Who do you trust? Who do you trust with your trust? I trust in our I'm going to give it to a I trust a trust. I don't trust you. But the trust is in our name. Let me tell you something. We're the beneficiary. I make a billion dollars. Yep. I make you six feet. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's that is kind of yeah. That's gonna make him happier that's than priceless, any amount of money. Bro. Yeah, 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 that's priceless. priceless. Yep, yep. Please give it to him. Turkey's leg <laughs> yeah. transplant. Bro, that's gonna be you. Son. Nah, nah, you can't take it back. No, no gives I'm you not back. No. It back. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Yo, son. Why doesn't he it's just go? Kind of why does he just go? Yo, I'm working on this new thing to make like people six feet if they want. Like he needs to put a couple. He needs to put a couple things of hope out there so people aren't willing to criticize him. Mm. You see like he thought he was doing that with traffic in LA. He's like, yo, we got traffic in LA taken care of. Don't worry about it. I love that tweet. I thought yeah. I loved it. So it everyone in LA is like, too. okay, okay, we chill got, out, we, we good, we whatever. Still, still waiting. Boom, still waiting. What is the thing that he could do for all human beings? Where, like if he was like, yo, we got this thing, it's not I'm y'all make to a dick bigger. Mm, bruh. And trans people would love that too. So you get people on the left also. Oh shit. Trans people be like, oh, finally, shit. I would he love would be a dick. He would be the great unifier, finally. Everyone gets a dick, free dicks. 
Look under your chair. I'm Oprah for dicks. There's dicks everywhere. <laughs> Yo, that's if, you're, if you're trans, you want a dick, you got a dick. He's if so you're a guy, you want a bigger dick, you got a bigger dick. Yo, just cut that. Right? Everyone wants <laughs> that, bro. That. Everyone <laughs> wants that. Yo, is there a limit to how big these trans dicks could be? Because I don't think it's fair. <laughs> you can't just come in a game late nope. packing. You got to spin the wheel like all of us, bro. Yo, you know how like Oscar Pistorius, his, his blades could only be so long? Mm-hmm. Because it actually gives you an unfair advantage. Yeah, they gotta take your height. Dicks. The... Dicks can only be so long. They yep. have to look your at your blade some can only be so long. Body index or some shit. A million percent. They have to calculate how big how big your dick would have been. And color. You can't just get a black dick. Nah, you should be able to do that. Nope. Why not? Tattoos. Yeah. What? That's not being black. Getting a tattoo is just ink. <laughs> just ink that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you should have to go through the pain. But yeah, you, once the dick is yours, you should be able to do whatever you want with it. You could dye a different colors. You should you be want. able to you can't decide dye your how dick. long. You can dye your dick 100%. You could dye your dick. No, you can't. Yeah, yeah. You haven't seen these Indians with their hennas and shit? <laughs> I don't think that's Isn't not. that a fucking thing you do on your wedding day? You dip your dick in henna and... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how they apply it. the henna to everyone else. You dip your dick in it and then you, you put it on... Mainly for the women. You know that, right? Uh, say again? That's mainly for the women. But how do they apply it to the women's hands? The artist dips his dick in some henna. Oh, do they then... do it with, with dick? Is yeah. that how you apply henna? <laughs> yes. No, no, no. Dude. No, yeah. but I got some pencil dick ass niggas <laughs> over there, bro. <laughs> hey, look, my only reference is me. You might not be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what do we know? What are we talking about? That's crazy. Pencils are long, though. It's not bad. You know what I mean? Hey, pencils are effective. <laughs> yeah. And you trust them. So you know studious. I mean? So yeah. studious. That's true. Extremely you need to get studious. a job done. You're not grabbing like um, like a Sharpie or nothing. Nuh -uh. yeah. Nope. Nothing permanent. Nobody wants that permanent marker you working with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, you got permanent marker, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pencil think is nice. You make a mistake, you can erase it. Bang. Mm, you have any facts. mistakes? You know what I mean? I mean, I erase it. Turns out you can erase Sharpie, too. I had, more, I had that dry erase. Right? <laughs> you had a whiteboard mark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, listen. Free Elon, Elon, bro. Shout out to Elon, though. Nah, we love Elon's you, and, and we do want you on the podcast. Mm -hmm. nah, Elon's a go. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because today's episode is brought to you by PayPal Honey, okay? It's the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Listen. Holiday shopping absolutely blows. We all know this. You pay too much money for everything. You never have a coupon code. And by the time you finally find one, the thing you wanted to buy is sold out. But now, thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the ones that fit the best to your cart. Think about that. You're already gonna buy the thing online. It doesn't matter. You might as well see if there's some coupon codes for it. Instead of you going out there and Googling everything honey does it for you and you save money for free i mean just imagine that think about that the honey button literally appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons if honey finds a working coupon you'll watch the prices drop the prices is you'll watch the prices drop okay i've used it for shoes you have yep and it's amazing save me 25 bucks look at that, look at that. no effort saves you money that's the best way to save money. You can even save more when you ask Honey to keep track of price drops on your holiday shopping list. If the price drops on anything on your list, you'll instantly get an alert and they'll let you know. How awesome is that? You want something, you think it's a little bit too pricey, you wait for that shit to hit your budget. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. I've never met, recommended something that I'm not using. Get PayPal Honey for free at Join joinhoney.com slash flagrant. That's joinhoney.com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, we need to make sure you're getting that day started, okay? We need to make sure you're getting all them high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens that you need to start your day right to be the best person you can be. And AG1 has got your back. Athletic Greens is not letting you out there in this world without being fully optimized with all of them 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, Etc. Sustainable routines are key. AG1, this is my daily micro habit, okay? It makes it easy to absorb the key nutrients, lead a healthy lifestyle, and feel my best no matter what the day holds. It's one scoop, guys. Once a day, every day. The smallest thing can have such massive results. Right now, 
It's time to reclaim your health and your immune system with the convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. There's no need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. And to make it easier, Athletic Greens is gonna give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash flagrant, okay? Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash flagrant to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Now let's get back to the show. Also, guys, Big Dancy Energy Tour wrapping up. We might add some small cities here and there, but these are the major shows coming up. January 14th, I am at my first theater, The Wilbur. 1,200 seats. We've already sold most of them, so hurry up and buy your tickets. Then January 20th and 21st, I'm gonna be in Las Vegas at the Virgin Hotels. Then February 9th through 11th, Sacramento, I'm finally coming to see you at the Punchline Comedy Club. And March 9th through 11th, Miami, we're coming back to the improv. Buy your tickets at akashsing.com. Now let's get back to the show. Can you break down this whole Twitter file stuff while we're talking about Elon? Basically, they went into the back end of Twitter and they found that some people were being quote unquote shadow banned or uh, filtered is what Twitter calls it. Mm -hmm. And basically they would have like different sensors that they could put on different accounts that they could either like stop you from being searched. So it'd be harder for people to find you like through search. They can actually stop uh, the amount of people that are shown your tweet. And the ones that uh, Barry put out, am I pronouncing that right? Is it Barry or Barry? Barry. It's Barry, right? And Barry basically said it was like mostly right-wing people, like Dan Bongino and uh, people from like Turning Point USA and stuff like that. It was mostly right-wing accounts. So the it, the way it's painted, at least, is that there's a uh, slant against right-wing commentators on Twitter to like censor their, their content. Now, would you say that this is also a function of the people working for Twitter in the same way that that other thing that came out with Twitter? Remember, they were like... Um they were silencing uh, like, both. Like the Biden thing where like they were able to pull off the laptop story. Yeah, and they were able to pull up, uh, pull off other Republican stories, mm -hmm. uh, but there were just more Democrats working at Twitter so then more Democrats had access to those people so more stories could take them down. The other thing I can't verify is whether or not they broke terms of service and if in their own internal terms of service, if they have... Uh, like, hey, if you break this thing, we're, your profile is going to be quote unquote shadow banned. I think the thing that ah, people. Are, so if it was already in there, they're not breaking the, any rules. The thing that people are frustrated about is that. Uh, what's the dude that created Twitter? What's his name? Uh, Jack? Jack Dorsey. Dorsey said that they don't shadow ban. That's the thing when they come out and it's like, I love that. I love what Elon said when he was basically like, we're going to do that. He goes, everybody has freedom of speech, but you don't have freedom of reach. So what we will do is like notch down, fill, uh, notch down your uh, visibility if you're saying racist things or hateful things, etc. Yeah, I think he said he'll actually show when you are being shadow banned now. Oh, good. yeah, yeah. So well, just uh, dude, be that's the thing about transparent about, about it. Yeah, that's yeah. better. Actually. And, and yo, here's the thing: like people fall in line. Like it's so funny. Like TikTok will take down a clip because we curse. You know, what we take away from TikTok now curses. The curses. Instagram will take away a video for whatever. You know, what we take down. V video for that, whatever the fuck they're saying. It's like people will conform because we're using this thing to access millions of people for free. Now, I understand, you know, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product, or whatever that fucking saying is. But at the same time, all you need to do is just give a little bit of a punishment and then people will fall in line. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting because we value more being able to access these people uh, than we do like holding true to saying the word fuck in a statement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, as, long as, as long as the rules are generally clear. Like, I don't think people care that much about the rules as long as, like, they're fair and equal for everyone. Yeah. I think it's, like, when it's all nebulous and it's like, am I shadow banned? Like, how many times have you been shadow banned off of Instagram or whatever? I would, I would way rather know. Or, like, Duval. Yeah, just tell me. Duval got shadow banned. Like, a bunch of accounts get shadow banned. It's like, yeah. what is happening? Why? There's no transparency yeah. on, on Facebook. And, and you can't even appeal it. You can't ask anyone about it. It's just, like, this thing happens to you, and then you're just stuck. But That's I wonder, why I think it would be great. If he actually, like, shows that you're shadow banned and the reasoning why you are, that would be amazing. But I wonder if That's it's That's the actually, one thing that he's doing good. I wonder if it's actually more effective. Now, I'm not saying I like it as much but I wonder if it's more effective the way that Instagram does it, where they just shadow ban you and there's no real way to communicate with them. There's no real way to have a conversation with them. They're just like, these are the rules and if you break them, you're gone. And you break enough of those rules, you start going, you either decide, you go, I don't wanna fuck with this app no more, or you go, all right, I gotta abide by the fucking rules. The fact that you can have a conversation with someone at Twitter and argue with them and then do this whole legalese thing where you're like, well, technically it's not a trans joke if you really look at it like this, you're gonna be spending 
millions of dollars on just random fucking conversations with trolls on the internet. Will you keep people on the app more though? Because that's really what matters at the end of the day. That's true. If you're that much less inclined to use Instagram, either because you don't want to deal with the rules or because you feel like it's less fun, then you're hurting your product. Mm. Right now, there's no competition besides, I mean, TikTok is obviously competition, yeah. but they have even more strict rules. Yeah. So it's like, if there's no other competition, you can go to fucking Parlor, or Truth Social or these other places, they're just like troll fields of people screaming the N-word and putting up swastikas yeah. and shit just to prove that they can. Yeah. There's no real content there. You don't want to like That's exist there with your content. Shit, so I'm not saying what I like. I want to be able to say whatever I want. What I'm saying is if I was running a company, you want a policy that allows people to act in the way that you want them to act yeah. with by doing the least amount of administration possible. Well, I think TikTok does, they just tell you why, like cussing or, and sometimes it's still vague, but it's, they're a little bit more explicit in why yeah. you get, so you're like, all right, now I know what to do. Whereas with a shadow ban, you don't know what the fuck is happening. Somebody said, tell you you're a shadow ban, you don't know what's going on, and it's just so ambiguous and you're, there's no clarity. Yeah. And then you're just, hey, let's get rid of anything that could be fun or whatever. Mm. So then basically say, okay, you're, you're a shadow man for a week. It's going to be limit the amount of people that can see your content, yada, yada, yada. That's what you would prefer, yeah. you're saying? No, I, yeah, I prefer, yeah. This, hey, you broke this rule, you're shadow banned, this lasts for a week. All right, I know what I did, I know what I need to do to fall in line. Mm -hmm. I think to what Mark said earlier, as long as it's even, as long as everybody's playing by the same rules, mm -hmm. and it felt as if it wasn't for Twitter. Or at least that's the way they presented it. I don't know, and I yeah. didn't read every single tweet of like the whole thread, but it, that's the example she brought up. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Like having some sort of constitution, like a digital constitution, if you will, of the things that like we can accept. And this is all going to be based on more or less like where advertisers are going to spend their dollars. Yeah. It's really funny. Like what if advertisers just all came together and said, yo, we don't care if people curse. We don't care if people make jokes about marginalized groups. We don't care about <laughs> anything. We just want the views. All these rules would go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean America in the 90s? Yeah. Is, that, <laughs> is that what you're describing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 100%, yeah. right? Like, isn't that interesting? They're not doing this for some sort of like um, uh, moral, uh, taking like a moral high crown or trying to like virtue signal. They're trying to feed their bottom line, which makes sense. You're a business. Yeah. This is not a... Uh, the irony is Twitter is probably the app most responsible for companies having to act like this now. Because people used to take all their outrage there, they got negative PR, and then they would be like, all right, we have to change everything, we have yeah. to be more diverse, we have to be more, it's like constantly concerned about perception. Before social media, before Twitter, yeah. we, 10 of us would get upset, a thousand of us would get upset, whatever, mm. where do we go with that? You we know, sit in our house, and you gotta look up the fucking number and call the headquarters, and 99% of people aren't doing <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah, Nabisco, I don't Write think Write a fucking cared. letter or an email, yeah. come on, bro. And you know what's funny is that we could get away from this advertiser model if everybody just paid for Twitter. Yeah. Which yeah. is literally what, what Elon's suggesting. Now, there's no way in fucking hell we will do that. Yeah. So because we're not willing to pay for it, we're going to have to accommodate certain rules that they have. We, and we can't fucking cry about it. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we supposed to say? I should be able to do whatever I want in your restaurant? Yeah. That's the rule? Yeah. For free. For free. <laughs> and eat for free. Yeah. And make money off your I should be able to sell my food in your restaurant yeah. Yeah. however the fuck I want. And not be criticized in any way, shape, or form for it. Yeah. I understand why they have frustration, especially with us, when we complain. I understand from the company's perspective, mm -hmm. they're like, motherfucker, you ain't even paying for this shit? Yeah. And you have millions of followers, and you're able to monetize those millions of followers from our platform, and you're going to be upset that we don't let you say the word fuck? <laughs> or you're going to be upset that we don't let you say the N-word? Yeah. Like, that's your pushback? Mm -hmm. What I don't like is, and Duval pointed this shit out, when the rules when the rules lack an understanding of diversity and culture. So Duval is basically like, yo, there's no black people that are on the boards of these fucking, um, there's no black people on the boards of these, um, um, uh, what is it, they're, they're like monitoring the comments and monitoring the content. Mm. And he goes, so they're thinking that certain things that exist, with, exist within black culture that are not bullying or being critical at all. Uh, calling someone stupid, calling someone dumb for being funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you stupid, oh, you dumb. Those comments were getting flagged yeah, yeah. Yeah. as bullying. So, so he goes, yo, they're making it so we can't even be black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a great point, That man. happened to Weezy. She got, like, a uh, shadow bear because she put, like, yes, bitch, or whatever. <laughs> and they didn't realize that. So now little, that's an adjustment that they can obviously make. But to me, when he said that, I was like, yo, that's the most profound criticism of Instagram or social media I've ever seen. It's like, it, if social media is going to dictate culture and you make it essentially illegal for aspects of of black culture, Latino culture, Asian culture, like Italian culture to exist there because they can be viewed as bullying or they can be viewed as insensitive, 
you're making a very homogenous culture that's gonna lose all the flavor that we love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Twitter without black Twitter? It's not Twitter, bro. Come on, just, bro. It's not Twitter, bro. Yeah. Um, do you want to just do feelings, no facts? Yeah, okay. let's do it. All right, I'm just going to hit you with random shit. I don't even know I don't even know all the details. It's just feelings, okay? New Indonesian sex laws. Basically, in, in Indonesia, you're not allowed to have Wild. sex outside of a committed relationship. So if there's two people that are just, like, visiting, going to Bali, fucking, they could potentially be, like, charged or even jailed. Because it's not just for citizens. That's what's crazy. Ooh. Why are you hurting your own tourism like this? Russell Simmons is in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey. Yeah. He's running from one place and now he's got to run again. <laughs> That's why they changed the law. Yeah. <laughs> Russell kept doing it over there. No, this is interesting. It's like, so I think what they're trying to do is stop Bali from becoming like a, uh, vac a vacation fuck tourism place mm. for, you know, Western folks, which is probably what's becoming. Mm -hmm. Just a bunch of beautiful girls that are, you know, making money off Instagram, go live there because it's probably so cheap to live and you can live this amazing lifestyle. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And like culturally, it's one of the most uh, rich and rich. I don't mean obviously in terms of money. I mean, like in terms of like acceptance, love, like everybody, Duval specifically, is like, I've never been to a place like that in my entire life where the people just understand life and it's safe. How is there a place where things are cheap and it's safe? Hmm. You, you know said about Bali specifically? Yeah, Bali specifically. Interesting. So, uh, so to me, I understand the government stepping in going, hey, we don't want to be this place where like Westerners just come to like party in the fucking jungle, suck each other's dicks all the fucking time. Like we have this beautiful culture that they're just desecrating. <laughs> you think that's their combo? Suck each other's dicks. Yeah, yeah. I think it kind of went like that. We have this beautiful island. They're just sucking each other's dicks all the time. Yo, yo, yo. Bro. I was in the jungle and I, and I thought it was a bunch of baboons going at it. Turns out it was these Australians. <laughs> just suck each other's just dicks. Suck each other's dicks in the jungle. <laughs> Dude, what are we Now you know how little baby feels. Exactly. The, ba the baby's on, on what stage. What the fuck is going Stop on? Stop sucking each other's dicks all the time. In the jungle, Mark. <laughs> the mighty jungle. The mighty jungle. Yeah. So, basically, I, I get what they're doing. And listen, I haven't been. I don't know how bad it's getting. But I can understand if the culture that you saw that was so prevalent there this like Western sex tourism, not in terms of like paying prostitutes, but in terms of just like, you know, singles hooking up. If that doesn't coincide with the culture that you guys have lived within for thousands of years, you can make a change. You're not upset if married couples go there and they hook up. You're not upset if maybe even boyfriend, girlfriend, it's like pseudo marriage or something like that. What you don't want is the swinger fucking lifestyle, people going to bars and just meeting and sucking each other's But I heard to get in trouble, <laughs> it's only uh, the parent has to report the child. I think that's the only way you can get in trouble for it. But what if the parent's not there? That's what I'm saying. So I don't, that's why they made the law that way so it won't deter tourism. Interesting. So is it just a law that is trying to stop specific types of people from going, but is not really enforceable? No. Nah, or is it to it, stop the, the women of Bali yeah, from being, that's what it is, being part of like a sex trade? Yeah. Or, or, like, uh, or Westerners or whatever, just kind of using them for sex. I think that's the biggest thing what they're trying to stop. Yeah, hmm. I get that, 100%. Yeah. Yo, you guys can come fuck here. You guys could do your devil behavior here, right? You can suck each other's dicks here if you want. You guys can go into the jungle <laughs> and have at it with each other's dicks in your mouth. Yeah. But you cannot suck our dicks. <laughs> yeah. Our dicks are, are our ours. Our dicks are, yeah, are yeah. ours. Yeah. They're trying to steal our dicks. Dude, they, really, they were going after them. They're going over here. And they're stealing their fucking dicks, dude. They're stealing, stealing their, their fucking dicks. dicks it's crazy. Dude. dude, there are Balinesian ball sacks <laughs> getting sucked in the jungle, Mark. Shake my head, bro. Dude, there's rainy season out there. And there are two Balinesian guys. This should be building like a house out of mud for YouTube videos, but instead, <laughs> <laughs> but instead, someone's sucking their dicks. Maybe Mark. that's how they build all those houses, bro. Maybe that's what they use to stick them together. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, maybe dude. they're sick and tired of it. <laughs> Maybe they built too many of these houses. Maybe yeah. there's a housing crisis. <laughs> there's too many houses. There's too many fucking huts. What are we gonna do with all these huts? I don't know. We don't have enough people living in them mm -hmm. because guys are sucking each other's dicks yeah. instead of stuffing them in them little Balinese boxes and making some babies. Yeah. They can live in them fucking huts. Yes. Thank Oof. you, bro. I need an acai bowl. <laughs> okay. I need an acai bowl right, right now. All right, there's a bunch of people basically are getting sued uh, by two people that bought Bored Apes and lost money. 
and they're basically trying to open up a lawsuit against a bunch of celebrities for shilling the NFT. So this, this includes like Jimmy Fallon, uh, I think like Justin Bieber was a part of it, Madonna was a part of it, Paris Hilton, Post Malone, Snoop Dogg, Steph Curry, Kevin Hart, DJ Khaled, and more are the quote promoter defendants. Yeah, I'll win this. What yeah, but this? what are the grounds that you should, like, why? It, it's art, right? Like, it's worth what people think it's worth. Yeah. I think people are mad at Jimmy Fallon specifically because I think he bought a board ape on The Tonight Show. And he was also like an investor in MoonPay that was involved in transacting all the board apes. Who cares? So they're like, oh, you were talking about it as if you weren't involved and you didn't disclose your involvement in it. So people are trying to bring up the lawsuit. I wonder if this is any different than the family that owns the art gallery that puts the new hot artist in the, in the gallery and then gets a piece of those paintings, knowing full well that being in the gallery is what creates a lot of the value for the art. Mm. Like, to me, you'd have to prove that this is any different than how, like, traditional art works. Mm. Oh, interesting. I understand the frustration, but then take that same frustration out on fine art. The reality is most people can't afford fine art, so they don't know that the systems are parallel. Mm. Mm. Right? I mean, yeah, if like someone's a- gifted a bunch of art, and then they like it, and they post about it, or even if they're paid to post about it, yeah, I, guess, I don't know why that's different than like an advertisement. Or even not they're paid. It's like, what if, if he owns MoonPay, right? Right, I guess he's like a partial investor. In MoonPay, yeah. So it's like, yeah, of course. You, and you're going to make money off of every board ape that's sold. And you would want to hold some for yourself. This is no different than like, you know, let's say you know, Picasso's still alive. And he's like, okay, here's going to be my new gallery show. We're going to do it at the gallery that's in London. There's like three main galleries in the world. If you're up in one of these galleries, that means that you're the poppin' artist. You're great. And the family that owns a gallery is going to go, well, we want to buy a couple of these pieces too because if we're blowing this fucking artist up, we'd like to keep some of that and probably make a bunch of money on it, you know, at some other time. So it's no different. Mm. Like, the, it's showing, it's actually showing what a scam the art world is. <laughs> right. It's just people didn't have enough money to buy art, so they didn't know. Yeah. Now they know. It's bullshit. It's, this is what it is. It's bullshit, except sometimes you look at a piece of art and you just stand there mesmerized and you're like, why the fuck do I like this so much? Mm-hmm. And you want that. And that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's a sculpture. Sometimes it's a painting. But there's sometimes you just look at something and you're like, I can't stop looking at this goddamn thing and I would like to continue looking at it. Now, the hype train starts to roll and sometimes these things are worth millions and millions and millions of dollars, but I'm sure at some point in time someone's looking at that Mona Lisa and they're like, this is a shitty little fucking piece of art, but for some fucking reason I like looking at it, it's kind of weird and different. And, and somebody uh, put that value into it. All it takes is one person to go, I want this. Yeah. And I'm not gonna sell it to you. Or that one piece of art could be so good that the artist becomes super famous and then their shitty art is yeah. more is more popular because exactly. of just how good One Piece was. Bro, we we were we were um we were at the Little Prince, right? And Dove, of course, the charming motherfucker he was, starts chatting up these two girls. And one of the girls was an art dealer, and she said that the cheapest sketch of Picasso, just a sketch, mm. like the shit where he was like, "This ain't good enough to be art." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literal the thing that he decided not to make art out of. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. Crazy. Wow. And part of you was thinking. I would like a Picasso. Yeah. Yeah. Not not only a Picasso, but then you can spin it. Like this is yeah, yeah, yeah. one of those. You things. bring a girl to your apartment, and you're like, yeah, but this is like just like a napkin one that he yeah. gave to yeah. my uncle. Like, you can make up anything. Yeah. And it's almost better than having an actual Picasso. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. That's where it starts. Mm. And it takes one person to buy it to create value. So why one don't these why don't these lawsuits happen in like fine art? I'm sure because all these rich people are involved in the system that they all benefit from. Now you have to pay. Um, sales tax on art that you sell, but that's a recent change. Hmm. So not sales tax, uh, 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 what is it called? Income uh, tax. Income tax or something like that. So that's actually, I didn't, I didn't know you didn't have to do that before. That's why rich people love art. Because mm. you buy a painting for one million, yeah. sell it for four million, you don't and pay tax be, on yeah. any of that. Mm. Yeah, so it used to just be a store of wealth. Fuck, yeah. dude, Jesus Christ. I didn't understand what they, I would hear it's a store of wealth, and I was like, I don't know what that means. No, it's a now, scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a way to tell the government, suck my dick. Literally. I'm making $3 million, you're not touching it, fuck you. Because yeah. you have 50% of everything else I do. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Speaking of art, did you see the AI art trend? I saw that shit, yeah. Bro, it is so funny. Human beings are so funny. 
it's just if you give them a better version of themselves, they'll share it. Uh, yeah, I noticed oh it. Oh my god! It's like where's the one where they look a little uglier? Yeah. Let's yeah. make that filter <laughs> and see if anybody shares that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone was best case scenario you. Yeah. And they're like, it's so cool, technology these days. <laughs> I know, yeah. No, you fucking narcissist. You looking better is cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what yeah. made me think though that Ready Player One, whenever that world, we're all gonna love having the best. The I want the version of myself in virtual reality that looks exactly like I want them to look. I'm gonna fuck love that yeah. I'm gonna be stuck in that world why would I get out and look at the mirror yeah, yeah. a real mirror fuck that yeah. Get some plastic. Where's surgery. yours? You seem like the type. No, I didn't do it. I want to do it for the pod. I wanted to get one of everyone, but you have to like spend for seven bucks for it. Son, you got to pay money. They made a crazy amount of money in the first oh, week. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know that people were actually paying for this. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Once you see that somebody looks better, I bet they had a few people do it too. It'd just be like, yo, get the, get the fucking word out there. Yeah. And people were like, hey, this guy looks better. I want to see myself looking better. Mm. And then put that out there as if it's accurate. I can't wait for this shit to be over, though. Is there any party that's impressed? <laughs> I hate it so much. Is there any party that's impressed that the computing power is able to, like, aggregate all these pictures of you and then put you into a completely different So what thing? happens? Do you give it access to your camera roll? No, you just upload, like, 10 pictures. Ah. Uh, and then it spits out you riding a bear looking beautiful. I mean, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, to ha I, w I don't know how to do it, but I just wanted somebody, I wanted to make an uglier version <laughs> and then just be like, why are mine a little? Yeah, <laughs> so much worse. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. my ears bigger, my nose is fucking bigger. Like, well, how the fuck does this program work? Yeah, 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 which that also probably would work. If you made like an AI, like yeah. like portrait bot that made you a caricature. It's funny. Everyone would love it. This, this is, yeah, it's so funny. It's like, uh, we're describing how to be in Times Square and be Asian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I want like, the clay ones. Every time I see the dude that like carves the one out of clay, like molds you out of clay, I, I want. That. I want that. I've never seen that. You've seen never it. seen that? No. I haven't seen that's, that. That's, that's fire. That shit's amazing. But that's he like will 3D cool. mold you just in person and then be like, here you go. That's, that's fire. That's, that's talent. Right? Well, also painting is talent. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is. It is. I'm more interested in this uh, chat GPT thing. Yeah, I want to talk about dude, that. Apparently, yeah. the guy who created Gmail or something was saying he thinks this is going to disrupt Google's entire business within a year to two years. Oh, it's interesting. Gonna it's going to disrupt the, the world. Have you yeah, fucked with like, it at all? No, it's so it scares cool. me. All right, so we could just do like. I'm scared uh, of technology. <laughs> you haven't figured that out about me. So, what do you want to know? What, what's like, like some basic thing? We could do like. Hundred word essay, yeah. hundred word essay about sharks. Boom, and it will literally it just spit it out. So also, right when I logged in, it said it had high demand, so it might take a little bit to to get it going. Oh yeah, here we go. Sharks are a type of fish that are known for their sharp teeth and powerful jaws. They're found in oceans all over the world. Blah blah blah, and it'll just give you a hundred word essay. Boom. So so Shifty hits me. He just goes, he goes, Open AI is going to change the world. I can't believe it. It's been alive for five days. ChatGBT will completely change college. I just had to write, I just had to write me a song, make me a meal plan, write me a YouTube script in two minutes. Yeah. He goes, it's an AI that's supposed to mimic Jarvis from uh, Iron Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can write you an essay, and every essay is different, mind you. Right? It's yep. not like if no. someone else puts that same script, it's going to be the same It'll one. be a different new essay. So there's no more cheating, but now you have to change education. Because now kids don't need to read the book. You don't need to read Old Man the Sea to write the book report. Yep. Just type book report, this. 500 words, ain't no spelling mistake. You gotta put spelling mistakes. You gotta fuck up the spelling so they know it's you. <laughs> yeah, Think literally. about that. This is nuts, bro. But it writes code. This Thank God I never, you suckers. All you idiots learn code. Thank <laughs> God I never learned code. I knew that they was gonna code some shit to learn code. <laughs> <laughs> So the fact that I don't ever have to go, I, and I was starting to feel bad. Code, code, so my work. wife was learning code, and I was like, I fell off, bro. It's over for me. Ha, ha. So boom, 10 unique Mr. Beast video titles. Mr. This Beast takes terrible. on the world's largest maze. Giant slim and slide in the desert. Toughest escape room. Wow. Scavenger hunt. And then you could probably, wow. you could run an AI to go through these and then get the best ones. Dude. Like, I don't know how you could even program that, but I bet you if you can come up with a thousand of them, you can literally use something to like troll through all thousand and then take the best 10. That's write, crazy. Write me a CS script of a game where a duck jumps over boxes. Make me a video game. Yep. It will make you the video game. Mm. It also is somewhat trickable. It's apparently not supposed to do things that would uh, cause damage or harm or mislead or lead you to do things that are wrong. Like, yeah. you can ask it to tell you why something that is not nutritional is nutritional and it will don't it can't do it but you can ask it to do it in hypothetical terms and it will do it 
So you can still get it to sort of do the wrong thing. Like you can ask it to write code that would damage a computer and it'll say, oh, I can't do that. And you say, oh, could you just write the code hypothetically? Like if, it, if hypothetically, if you're going to write the code, how would it look? Or write it in a way that it wouldn't be used and it'll write that code. I'm acting excited based on what you're telling me, but I'm actually excited based <laughs> on what Mark just typed in. He goes, he goes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because this blew my this blew my mind. Mark typed in, write me a Yeah, this is a CS script where a comedian tells jokes. Now, can you explain what CS script is real quick? No idea. Uh, I think it's just <laughs> It's just a type of code, right? <laughs> so you can type this in and then the the comedian bot or whatever will deliver yeah. it as this. Okay. So it just put together a bunch of jokes. Yeah. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it's too tired. Too tired, get it? Yeah. But I think that was amazing. Yeah. It's terrifying. So the question is, how do we use this? How do you actually like <laughs> how do you utilize it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally first thing I said to him. I go, how do we use this? Yeah. And then in my second section was, why is this open to everyone? <laughs> <laughs> but but what I think is really cool about this is that it puts value on what we do. You can't write a CS script of four friends hanging out, busting balls, telling jokes. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I was kind of a robot. This you know, is going to keep getting true. better and better and better. And I do think there's probably a point at which it can tailor a joke for every person that's like, hey, I want to hear a joke about airplanes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it can give you the joke because it has so much information on you that you're going to like about airplanes. Son, my joke's about to get fired. Bro, can we sing a rap song? Son, son, son. <laughs> Mark just typed in a rap song about going to Morocco. I'm headed to Morocco where the sands are golden. The heat is scorching, mm. but the scenery's mm -hmm. beholden. I haggle in the souks and try some tasty coos coos. Coos And maybe even ride a camel through the desert dunes. Dunes. Morocco, Morocco. 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 I can't, can't wait, wait to explore you. The, the sights, the, the sounds, sounds, the, the smells. smells. I'm gonna, gonna love it, it, I can tell. I think you're supposed to sing that part, but yeah, uh, keep going. Yeah. I'll visit Marrakesh and see the Dalamala. <laughs> where the snake charmers and acrobats put on a show. I'll sample some mint tea and feast on tagine and maybe even try my hand at some Moroccan Morocco, oh. Morocco, I can't wait to explore ya. <laughs> the culture, <laughs> the history, the beauty, I'm gonna love it, that's for sure. Yes. I'll take a trip to the Atlas Mountains. <laughs> yeah, this is a banger, bro. the Berber <laughs> villages and the ancient fountains. fountains. I'll visit the Kardashians in the this gardens Caspers. of Marrakesh. Caspers. And maybe even catch a glimpse of the elusive Barbary Lish. The Barbary Lish, bro. Morocco. <laughs> this song is a banger, dude. Uh, I mean, this shit is fire, bro. It's that's crazy. a better rap song you could ever write. Ra rappers are still safe. They're still safe. Nah, for now. okay. Well, that's They're just because they, they have white programmers to do this. Wait till there's a black programmer. That's what I'm saying. This, that puts a little, safe for now. A little spice yeah, in there, yeah. a little oh, rhythm. Wait a minute. This isn't programmers. This is AI. Yeah. So yeah, you're no, saying so AI, so is AI, AI white? Oh. Well, that's the thing. AI that's, is white? That's what people brought up, is that does AI just perpetuate the social bias that we all have already? Which is? So does it create the world that we ought to have, or does it create the world as it actually is? Well, so it like, creates the world that reflects the information that it has. And the majority of the information that it has is first world Western. So if you were to say, Dali, show me a picture of a doctor, and it shows 10 white people. Not going. <laughs> <laughs> Not going. Ask for a picture of a doctor. Not going. But this is just chat GPT, so like. It can't show you pictures? No. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Yeah. But wait a minute. Wait Google a minute. got images. Yeah, it's not exactly. going to disrupt Google Hold yet. On. If the majority of people are Asian on the planet, mm -hmm. so would it over-index for Asian things? Chinese and Indian? It should, but I don't think it does. Ideally, there's like cultural nuance. Can so we like, try rapping that with an Asian accent and see if it works a little better? Oh, bro. It doesn't I, have an accent. But it's ra it's rhyming things based on the accent. But Where did English. those... Women but it's how they would speak English. <laughs> it's think. translated. <laughs> can they do that? Ebonics for where did those women go? I did this one that earlier, bro. Where them women go? Where them women go? I where mean, are the women? Yeah. All right, here, I'll, I'll drop that in. Where are the women? What if you say, where are the... Uh, we're trying to get to say where the hoes at. Is that yeah. where? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought you were saying bitches. Uh, I got it to say that for the record. That's why. Really? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoes or bitches? Hoes. Oh. 
I, I thought it was so funny. I couldn't believe it. But like now you can do it. Permiscuous. Yeah. Wh- permiscuous women? <laughs> Where are the permiscuous women? All right, let's, I'm dropping it. Here we go. Where are the permiscuous women with loose pussy lips? Okay, Jesus. Whoa, Alex. whoa, whoa, dude. It could help. You really misspelled promiscuous? I, I can't put couscous. <laughs> I, put, I, put, I put couscous in there. I think. Nah, I, I'm you thinking, stupid. Uh, yeah, I know. I fucked that up. All right. Don't ask where me the, to spell it, though. <laughs> but uh, you... I don't think I can spell it. Reading it. <laughs> where the promiscuous women at? Yeah, this That's ain't... That's super ironic. Yeah, ain't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, well, it got I, some, it got I think some it's proving time. our point. Mm. It is a little bit... Caucasoid. Yeah. Yeah. At the current moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit Caucasoid. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I need to worry. Wait. What do you mean? You You think AI is gonna replace black people last? Yeah. Who's first? Yeah. White people? Yeah. Why? I don't know about that. What do you mean? White people are gonna get replaced? Yeah. By this? Yeah. Why? Because like we don't. Because ebonics? What? Nah. Like if you start like um. A uh, news uh, magazine site or some shit like that. It's like, oh, I don't gotta pay these stupid niggas to make dumb articles. I can just pay this to make an article. But it's like, if you had a hip hop site, it's like the articles aren't gonna be good. <laughs> I kind of zoned out, but so I think. I zoned out. <laughs> I kind of zoned out on myself, so I ain't even bad at y'all. Bro, Damn. that like, shit was wild, yo, boring. See, I knew you yo, did it. What I knew about you this? did it. I knew this? you did it. Like, it's, he's the type that. Handsome here. He's the type yo, that. Yo, you he look awesome. Can't man. resist to do this type of shit, bro. Bro. He just didn't that, post that it. That was a little Russian. Yeah, the, I think I literally put in pictures of Victor Boot, and this is what it gave me. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Those are all from uh, Andrew taking thumb, thumbnail photos. I mean, come on, dude. That's interesting. Some of them look great. Some of them do not. Yo, how, am I the only Yo. person that was made uglier? <laughs> <laughs> how am I Chinese? This is what you wanted, ain't it? No, you look this better. This was your whole point. I look better than that normal side. No, no. Now, there's yes. one or two where no. you look great. These are, you're, you're looking, you look better there. I look better than, no, no, I look better no, than no, that that's guy. Yeah, that's worse. You look worse than that That, that <laughs> looks like a different person. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. You look better, better there. there. That's gorgeous. You think I don't look better than that normally? No, no, no son. That's fucking. Either. That's you and Jared Leto having yeah, a baby. Come on. What is going on with my eyes, yo? <laughs> they can't figure your son, eyes out, Son, what's bro. going on? With I my didn't eyes, do anything yo. with the eyes. Are you fucking taking pictures of me? <laughs> that, this son, is that's funny. Andrew Knoxville. That's yeah, crazy. That shit's fire. That's, fire. Son, that's oh, how I think I look. That's fire. That's how I look, though. Nah, 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 bro. Come on, that's Yellowstone, bro. That guy's Yellowstone. He got a mullet, bro. That guy's got a mullet. That's a man. That's hilarious, son. That's holy shit. They really have. What's up with that? They have to let back. you know what Holy time it is shit. on that nose, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't like this one at all. <laughs> that's an artistic interpretation, bro. That's rough. That's a rough one. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's a passport photo. I I'm think. literally the only person that was made uglier by AI. That's me. <laughs> that looks like you. you that's think, what I look like. You think you look Y'all better than what you, you think you look better. Son, I, that, that looks like you. I do look better than this. <laughs> Son. I don't know. That was not You're bad. You're not ugly, but that was this not is, bad. These nah, are it's the eyes, bro. Look at that left eye, right eye, mad close together, these are different better sizes. Than you, bro. That one's cool. That's li- literally, look, go back to the other. That's what I look like. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? That no. is what I look like. No. Nah, 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 nah. no. There's like, no way. Got, like, no. <laughs> look, let me go close. That's literally me. No, no, no. no. I mean, I look that's better the, than that. That's the cool, that's I look better than that. That's I look better cool than that. That's the cool version of you. No, there's no way. I'm Akash? The only difference is That's my nose like is a, a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little Western, but like, nah, no way. <laughs> I look better than that. <laughs> I don't uh, know, bro. That uh, is weird. Sometimes this you Russian got, version of me, not a big fan. Sometimes you just gotta let them have it, man. I mean, that was cool. Like, some of these are cool, bro. A nah, computer, dude, a too com- animated. Uh, yeah, it's it's color eyes are real. Pull, pull yours up, cause I know you did it. Nah, Shub just stop sent me these. I know you did it. I bro. would hey, show you mine if I had them. Nah, these are from Shub. I was looking. Oh, okay. But I mean, some of these are impressive. Objectively impressed. No, I, I'm not they impressed at all. They just took this picture and put a little filter on it. Like, I'm, I'm not I'm that impressed. I'm actually insulted. Come on. I'm, I'm really not that insulted. impressed. I'm just saying, AI can hear us talking right now. That's true. What does that mean? Just one day. I'm just, I don't know. You know one remember? day. One day. No, not, that's not what I was saying. Day, it's a different thing than what I was saying. But I'm saying, you, one you look day, back now. One day. People were being racist one back in the day. They thought it was normal. Now you're being uh, you know, offensive to AI, and they're going to be able to look at all of it. And oh. one day AI is going to be sentient. And they're going to be like, yo, Andrew was saying that AI was a lot of shit about AI. Tell AI I said, suck my dick in a forest. Okay. No, in the jungle. 
Tell AI I said that. I'm just saying it's going to come back to you. What are they going to do? AI is going to rule the world, Fuck bro. Fuck you up. You're right. This has been a great episode, so I can pee. <laughs> <laughs> Al, go pee. Thank you. Okay. Right. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Stupid his pants. <laughs> <laughs> how fucking dumb his pants are. I didn't realize how dumb they were until he was walking away like that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, let's go. All right, do you want to keep doing feeling no facts? Yeah, give us one more feeling no facts, and then we got out of here. All right. Ronaldo got benched. Son. Can you just tell us if he's good or not? Yo, I think, I I think know. Portugal might have been better without him, right? My feeling is like... He came in the second half against Morocco, right? Yeah. No goals, no nothing. Mm-hmm. Could have saved his team, didn't shit. He's scoring less goals objectively. Like, if you look at the data over his whole career, he's scoring the kind of goals he was scoring when he was, like, 22 per season, adjusted for, like, time and shit. I saw a graph today. Hmm. And, like, when he was in his early 30s, he was, like, scoring... When- Double Mark does research, dog. I did a little research, you know what I mean? Okay. Re- World Cup got me inspired, bro. Yeah. Okay. So there's another part of this where you're like, do you just let him play his last World Cup? Even if it's at the detriment of your team. No. Because I think Ronaldo would even, if he had to choose, rather have a World Cup on his resume with less contribution than more contribution and never have the World Cup. Because in 50 years, they're just going to look at his resume and it's going to say World Cup or not. Let me ask you a question. Do you think Kobe would say this, feel the same way? If Kobe never had a title, would he accept a lesser role? I think he would at the end of his career. Do you truly believe that? I yes. truly do if he never had a title. Because we're looking at Kobe with more championships than Shaq mm-hmm. when he's winding down his career. And then he's like, I don't give a fuck what y'all do. My resume is set. This team is not good. We're not winning a championship. Tying Mike, even if I tie Mike and get a sixth ring, nobody's going to think I'm better than him. So he would have been like, let's... And maybe if they had a shot at a ring, maybe he would have said, look, let's. I'll play a few less minutes. I want to have as many championships as Michael, maybe. My but definitely fe- if he didn't have one. My feeling is I don't think that he could ever accept that he wasn't the best player out there. So he would believe that the best chance of his team winning is if he was on the floor. Maybe. And, and I feel like regardless of if that's true or not, Ronaldo's the same. Knowing absolutely nothing about Ronaldo. I'm assuming <laughs> that they have a similar kind of killer instinct, which a lot of these great athletes have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they compare them to the most, I think. Fair. And it's just like, there's no way you're going to believe that you've fallen off. Now, on some level, maybe Kobe somewhere would be like, okay, I'm not as dominant as I used to be. But he's also looking at his teammates. He's going, I'm giving every one of these guys buckets. Like, to this day, I bet Jordan is like, I could play with these guys. There was that story that came out. Oh, that was yeah, crazy, yeah. dude. That so was like crazy. So, like, Charlotte... Whatever the fuck they're called. Hornets. Now. They're the Hornets again? Or the Pelicans. They were the Bobcats. At the time, they were the Bobcats. 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 They were the Bobcats, yeah. Who the Hornets? New Orleans is New Orleans Pe- Pelicans. Pelicans. So it's oh, like, shit. come on, bro. So it's okay. I'm going to keep talking through it so we don't make fun of you for your embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the fact that you're saying it means that you're making fun of me. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. My bad. Okay. Come on. So man. my bad. I fucked up on that one. <laughs> so, uh, so he basically says the, uh, the fucking Bobcats were losing. He made all the players on the first team take off his shoes. So anybody who's wearing Jordans had to take off Jordans. You weren't allowed to play in Jordans. It's like 2010 or 2012. He ended up playing on the second team and then beating the first team. Mm -hmm. During practice. So it's like, that's the mentality that's never going to leave you. Now, can he do this every single day? He can't play every single game. There's no way he can do it. But I wonder if Cristiano Ronaldo is like, yeah, okay, maybe I'm scoring less. Yeah, okay, these things are happening, whatever. But he's never thinking that there's another person that's better on the team. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You're the soccer fan here. I, d- I like soccer, for the record, Yeah. okay? I'm you not know everything expert. about soccer. Jesus. You know everything about soccer. But I'm saying if they're building the attack through one guy and he's not delivering in the way that he used to be delivering, yeah. do we pull him off and then build the attack through different players or build a new way to attack? And if that's the case, then he's got to come off. But how do you level with arguably one of the greatest players of all time and say, hey, your role is going to be a lot different and we're actually going to go through this guy or you're just not going to be on the field at all? And then if he's being a diva about it and is like, nah, fuck that, then it's affecting the morale of the whole team. Yeah, that's true. Or they're like, hey, our, our star, like our guy that's is true. now throwing like a fit in the locker room if this is what's happening. After the game against South Korea, he like stormed off the field and like didn't say hi and like do like the cordial ceremonial thing. I think the manager actually game. handled it well. That was during the group match, right before they played Switzerland. Got it. And so, then, yeah. That's why they benched him. Yeah. Right? That's the way I understood it. They haven't like fully come out and said so why. So they didn't bench him because he was washed. They benched him because he was being a little bitch. So they subbed him off right at the end of the game. And I, I think it's a mixture of things. He's not performing at as high of a level where he can just do whatever he wants. Yeah. And then secondly, 
he's affecting the morale of the team. If he was at his peak, he gets away with that shit. Probably. Uh, and I actually think the manager, based again, I don't know much, but based on what I do know, seemed like he handled it well in that he benched Ronaldo for the one game. Then the second game, he's sitting, right? First half, it's 1-0, they're down. Second half, it's like, all right, man, go in there, see if you can make something happen. Yeah. You're not going to tell me I didn't. I Because you can't be the manager that sat Ronaldo the whole match, and then y'all didn't score, and y'all lost. Y'all got shut out. So I put you in the second half, go see if you can make something happen, and you couldn't. But now Ronaldo and the Ronaldo fans can be like, yo, if he was in the whole game, we would have won. No. Why? Because he's You had 45 minutes to score a goal. The guy that replaced him the next game yeah, scored, scored three, three fucking yeah, goals. I so I think the coach feels vindicated. The coach mm. is like, look, I made this change, and my man went off. Yeah. Ronaldo's thinking, if I was playing this game, I would have scored five goals. Yeah. Why don't you get me the ball like he's getting the ball? I'm, sh I'm sure that's what a great athlete thinks, to, even yeah. if he's being ridiculous. Because like you said, yeah, you have to because that type of mentality is going to lead to success. Yeah. I guess what I'm saying is like if Portugal wasn't uh, a favorite, I don't know if they were a favorite in the yeah, World against, Cup. Against Morocco they were. No, no, I mean in general, like in the World Cup in general. Nobody had Portugal going all the way, right? I mean, but they're dominant and like they have one of the greatest players ever. So I guess in my mind, I'm just like, like France, I'm not fucking with that lineup mm -hmm. because – they're probably the favorites going into it. Mm -hmm. Portugal, nobody's thinking they're going to win. They think that they maybe do okay, but they're not guaranteed to win. What I'm going is let Ronaldo play every single game of his last World Cup, yeah. and then maybe this guy can produce some magic. That's what I'm thinking. If you were, uh, you know, top three teams, maybe they were thinking that we're going to make it out, then don't play any games. Play the best possible fucking players, et cetera. But it's almost like Kobe with his last season. It's like nobody thought the Lakers were going to win the championship, so you let that motherfucker yeah. play every single game despite whether it's good or bad for the team. 100% mm -hmm. agree. Because I, I think it... Don't they look at Messi the same way they look at Ronaldo? It's and like, Messi out here killing. The, Messi's out here. They're at, yeah, but they, they're both at the end of their career. Yeah. They're like mm -hmm. not producing as highly as they were w during their prime. And Messi played every single minute of the game. Mm -hmm. So and I Messi's feel like. still scoring goals. And he's if he's talking shit, it's not on his own teammates. He's going off on the other team's coach, the other, te the other referee. You heard the last match yeah, he was yeah. talking. He's, talking cash shit. Yeah, he was going crazy. Uh, yeah, which to me, I love. it's like benching LeBron. Like you don't do that. Yo, it's yeah. Even, I, I, I'm even with though you on LeBron that. is I, but not again, producing like he was, you don't bench LeBron. We're just outsiders, so it's so easy for us to say. Yeah, because we just want to see the the only motherfucker we know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, true. that's a big part. Yeah, it's like it's like when you go see a band and they start playing their new shit. You're like, nah, we ain't coming yeah. here for the new album. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I got this unreleased song. You better release it before <laughs> we come here. Like, I've come here for released. Yeah, and yeah. Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo is the fucking hits. Yeah, it was funny. I was we were watching that France game, and um, France England, and there's the Mbappe guy, right? Yeah. And uh, Go. yeah, who you fucking love, and the guy who was marking him up was this guy named Kyle Walker, right? And he's the fastest guy on the England team. I think he's like the fastest guy in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. Like he's just an incredible speed. And there's a moment where. Mbappe gets the ball, and it's one-on-one -on -one him against Kyle Walker. Now, that's the fastest guy in the Champions League. Mm -hmm. That is the fastest guy. Not, I mean, just sheer speed, can't beat him. And the reason they marked him up is because Mbappe is so fast. And Mbappe, he takes one look at him, and he's just like, it's a foot race. And he fucking blows by this guy. The balls, the confidence yeah. that you know they put mm -hmm. the fastest sprinter on you, and with the ball... It's not like you guys are running straight in a schoolyard. Yeah. It's move and then go. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. For me, I, I don't know anything about I don't know anything about soccer. I just relate everything to like basketball, the things I know. And it's just like there's there's a there's a feeling that greats have when they have a defender in front of them. It doesn't matter if you're the best defender no. in the world. You are food. And he gave them the you are food yeah. look. Yeah. And then he ate. Yeah, like it was. So he's yeah. nice. I mean, it was he's it was cool to see because the guy that was, we were watching the game with kept gassing this Kyle Walker up guy, mm -hmm. and he was going for France. He was like, "This guy Kyle Walker's fucking good." And I was waiting for that one moment that they would have the one on one, and it was just different level mm -hmm. while controlling the ball. Yeah, it's crazy. But you're not a France fan though. You're a Morocco fan. I'm Moroccan. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm Morocco too. Mark France. Yeah. But France. if anybody's gonna bet, betonline.ag. Mark. What's your advice for the rest of this World France Cup? takes the whole thing. I've said it from the very beginning. The most, the most dominant side ever. I think they're the first team to ever win a World Cup and go to the semifinal. And when they win the World Cup again, they'll be the first team to win two World Cups in a row. So they're not going to win the World Cup yeah. because Morocco is going to beat them. And Morocco's <laughs> winning the World Cup. Who's your favorite Moroccan player? Habibi. 
Who? Hakimi. Habibi. Yeah. Hakimi. Who no, Habibi. You can call them all Habibi and it works. <laughs> okay, but his actual name. I just name. go Habibi and then it works 100%. <laughs> but yeah. you're right. No, Hakimi is nice. I fucks with Hakimi. Yeah. Yo, you saw the video I sent to the chat where Hakimi's wife was upset that he didn't come right to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know if, We don't know if that's true. That's just what somebody said, but there's this video. It's great if you could bring it up. And it looks like his wife, actually doesn't look like it. Someone just said this, but his wife is going, pointing at him and then pointing about like this. And somebody added the caption, Hakimi's wife saying, why'd you have to say thank you to all those other people before you said thank you to me after scoring the goal? That's funny. <laughs> and then every married man in that moment was just like, yeah, he going through yeah. it. He going through it right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was because there was one of the other players like went and kissed his mom after he scored that was a goal. Him. Oh, that same one? That was probably what she was complaining oh, about. Oh, that's probably. Oh, so you going to kiss your mom, mom first? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks like she's giving it to him, bro. Ain't no way. It looks like it a little. Ain't no Son, way, Son, if this bro. is true, I understand why Tom Brady got divorced. <laughs> I'm not. You don't understand what the fuck I'm doing on any level, clearly. <laughs> uh, we're out. Yeah. Schultz, are you betting? Yo. Yeah, I'm you- putting my money down. BetOnline.ag. You know they're mashing that uh, deposit, initial deposit, uh, 50% of it up to $1,000. Okay. So you put in a thousand, you get five hundred free. Five hundred free to gamble yeah. with. You know we going on Morocco now. How much are you no. put on Morocco? I, I didn't say I was betting on Morocco. No, no, no you said, said you're Moroccan, I'm pro bro. Morocco. These are your people, Habibi, yeah. right? I, listen, I'm pro Habibi. Yeah. You know I'm Team Habibi nah, all put, day. So put your money up. I mean, in fairness, put your money up. And he, I'll put Mark's money he's up. And we can go. Let he's betting a couple it. plane tickets. So we're, we're, I, uh, exactly. <laughs> we're already gambling. We're, yeah. we're gambling. I'm just saying, I am pro Team Habibi. I am pro Viva Maghreb. I am pro Morocco. That's what I want to happen. I, who, who would I put on to win the whole thing? I don't know. I think Morocco is going to do it. I'm mm. doing it the Aki way. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm betting on the Aki way, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. So bet on a game. <laughs> I'm not about to tell these motherfuckers lose their goddamn money. Argentina, <laughs> Croatia. Who are you going to bet on for that? Say again? Argentina, Croatia. Oh, Argentina, you Croatia. I'm going Argentina. Okay. 100% Argentina. Okay. Flagrant. Uh, BetOnline.ag, promo code flagrant. Get that 50%. All right? Got this shit. Um, Croatia looks good, yo. Not bad, right? They look good. Yo, Croatia. They, like, they, you mean, I they, thought England they looked better Adam. than France for the majority of the match. We're not talking about what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're talking, we're about, talking the, about that girl We're just the talking stands? about underdogs in general. <laughs> no, no, no. no. We're, we're talking, talking about something completely different. <laughs> Come on, bro. Croatia, we're talking Croatia about the real brought player. out their real talent. Yes. <laughs> Croatia no, brought out got, their real talent. They got the best talent out there. Yes, Croatia. I mean, I that did. is crazy. That's I mean, why, why America lost. Why don't Yo, countries do that? We why don't send out our best. They need a model budget. Say, hey, we're spending this much money to take the team out, and then we're also spending yes. 10 mil to bring models Because all our models are at fucking our basil. Yep. Some dumb shit when they Stupid should be at the shit. stands in Qatar getting their clits cut. They're all in Bali getting <laughs> their dick sucked, bro. Yo, they got to get out of Bali. <laughs> Stop get getting their dick Bali, sucked. Dude. Go to Qatar, get your clit cut. <laughs> Wild, <dog. laughs> What? 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 That we gotta happen, send man. some Kardashians, bro. Like we oh, would have won if nah, we, we had got some better, bro. The fact that these girls are normal in there—that's crazy. That yo, these are their sports fans. Nah, that's some work. That's a low. No, that's... I didn't say natural. I oh. said normal. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That's okay. a big difference, oh, okay. bro. That's a big difference. <laughs> Yo, but Ooh. shout out Croatia, man. Croatia. Real talky talky. You saw the Arab announcer that started singing to the hot girl? Bro. <laughs> Legend. Yeah, yeah. Legend. Legend. With the foot pick? You know I saw that one. <laughs> they busted in close for that foot pick. Did you understand it? Say what? You understood? 100%. What was he saying? Yala Habibi. <laughs> <laughs> he was hitting it with that. You know, he asked. He asked. It's not that. <laughs> Oh, come on. They suspended the account, bro. No. Damn, wow. do that, That's dog. No. Come on, Elon. Crime. That's a hate crime. All right, boys. Listen, uh, we got to go to Morocco, so we have to end this podcast literally right now. Um, there's a slight chance, everybody listening right now, that Patreon might be coming out Saturday instead of Friday because we'll be in uh, Morocco. And uh, we're going out there for literally 24 hours, 48 hours, yeah. 36 hours. 48. Something like that. No sleep, bro. Yo, no sleep. We out here, Adderall Kingpins, and then we back. This guy's stupid. <laughs> what? What? What I'm saying is, 
what I'm saying is, let's go Morocco. You already know what time it is. Let's see if Mark has the balls to wear that France jersey out there, yeah. which is absolutely crazy. 100%. Nah, B. I, I, I'm you, not even. If you even... do that, if you do that, mad respect. Bro, what are they going to do? Mad They're going to be chasing you down the street with a, <laughs> <laughs> with machetes and shit. You're real be talk. careful, bro. Mad Don't respect. do that. Shit. Why do you think these people are savages, bro? Say again? These people are not savages. Uh, you, you, know savages? you see how he's trying to paint you, you know bro? That's what he said. French had colonized them for thousands of years. That's savage, bro. Put your hood up, put your hood up. That's motherfucking, that's motherfucking savage. Yalla Habibi. That's savage. We not standing for the French colonization of oh. Mahok. We not standing for it. Mm. I'm not even speaking French while I'm in Morocco. You should have tucked that. You Damn. saw I tucked that, right? You saw I tucked that. I keep that shit in the tuck. I'm not playing around. Never lacking. Try to never, never, never lacking. You know what I'm saying. So we out here, couscous, all that. Mm. We're going to be in that fucking, that plaza or whatever they call that shit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be watching the game with all of you. So if you are from Morocco, you're from Marrakesh, you better holler at your boys because we need to be taken care of, mm. okay? Deliver the, the motherfucking hookah. What else do they do out there? Uh, falafel. falafel. Shawarma. I don't even think they do that shit. No, they I think y'all are making that up because y'all are fucking bro, racist. Bro, Moroccans invented falafel. No, they didn't, Yes, bro. they did. That's a Turkish thing. Nope. No, bro. Moroccans think they invented it. Falafel? Yeah, falafel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Falafel? Yeah. That's yeah. Turkish, bro. Son, I'd be hearing fucking Rami talking about it, I think. So there you go. He's Egyptian, bro. Yo, Morocco's close enough, dog. Way come on. North African. This guy. North African. Nah, this guy. Come it's on, bro. This guy's crazy. This guy's absolutely crazy. crazy. He don't get us all killed. I, he don't I get said all North killed. Africans. No. <laughs> huh. Run the tape back. I said North nah, Africans. bro. Media. What happened? My phone went to a different thing. Look, <laughs> no one asked you, bro. What happened? My phone went to a different no thing. I'm going to have to get it back. Boom. Get it back. Boom. Get it back. Boom. I, my shit is broken. Look, the point is, I got to figure out this goddamn phone. It's a watch, bro. It's a, it's a watch. watch. I got to figure out my goddamn Apple Watch. Listen, we are going right now. All right. To Morocco. Are you ready? Let's go. You ready to do this the Aki way? Let's do it the, uh, the Meraki way, do you, bro. <laughs> do you want to do it the Meraki way? Yeah. You ready to go? Let's go. I'm ready. Did you guys bring extra underwears? Nope. Yep. I'll pack something for you, Mark. Y'all brought underwear? I'm not even wearing underwear right now, dude. I'm ready to go. <laughs> you're not supposed to wear pants with that, by the way. Say what? That's supposed to, you're supposed to go bare. Bare body. Mm-hmm. How that, do you know that? That's the hockey way. You don't even know that they falafel it's didn't like, come from see, fucking they Morocco. They invented falafel. So watch, look watch who invented Turkish people watch invented falafel. Who Have you seen? invented falafel? Um, the disrespect is your friend Efe. Your friend Efe. Why are you trying to take it away from, from Moroccans? I'm not trying to take I'm trying to give credit to Efe. But you're taking it away from Moroccans. There's a whole country of people that invented awesome Sorry. shit. He scrolled past it because he was wrong, bro. Look at it right now. It's I guarantee. Right. Arab foods, bro. Arab it's foods. Scrolling. Yes! It's scrolling. Arab it's foods, motherfucker Arabia. Not African. I'm saying Moroccans invented everything. No. English language. Most of our words are actually Moroccan roots. That's actually true. Thank you. That is actually true. Okay, mm. listen, we got to get out of here. No disrespect to uh, our Turkish brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for inventing falafel. Are we on the same flight? Say again? We're on the same flight? Yeah. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> what do you mean? Well. We all got first class? <laughs> no. Not exactly. Wait, where are you today? Listen, guys, billionaires. What is, what is going on? Sit on a bench with a coke. That's no, you're you not. Wait, where are I'm you just sitting, be bro? On a bench with a coke, man. Where are you sitting? <laughs> Am I the only one not sitting in the front? Yeah, What's I'm happening? Such a slime ball. As Dub <laughs> buying these tickets, I hear him start to be. Like, is, is it possible if I could uh, put it on mine or something so I could use my point? To What's wrong with that? that? I, Fred, I did not say that. I just asked, where are we flying? So I see if any of my partners, I could use some of my points. To get a little upgrade. And? Then he fucking started yelling and shit, so and Dove has to tell me now. <laughs> Where are you sitting? <sighs> Come on, dude. What happened to all of us? Yeah, all, I don't know. That is one. fucked up. One that for is all. Up. That is fucked up. That was up. us. That's, that's why he fucked up your flight intentionally <laughs> on the way back. I knew this would happen. He's like, oh, word? I knew you one day. You gonna leave us in the back? Go right? ahead. <laughs> The audacity. You know what? I should have just went myself with Kiss Super. I should have taken Shifty by my goddamn and self, Miles, kept all Miles. this goddamn fucking money, and used it for my Christmas vacation. What do you mean? We're all going together. You know what I mean? All in the back or the front. Listen, I thought that I like doing things together. I lied about that. <laughs> no, man. you that do. Sh this shit is way more enjoyable without you. No, you you love it. We get to all see the world together. Bro, you know what I understand what I love most about stand-up comedy? Being alone no. there. <laughs> 
No, no, let's go. We're all gonna go. Uh, we're all sitting in first class. Nice. <laughs> Wait, you said it sarcasm. No, nah, that, that was a that was a verbal contract. Why did you right do the there? face yeah, like yeah, that? Nope. We are sitting first. Yo, this is someone's first class. It's someone's first class. Wow. It's someone's first class. That's deep, bro. Think about that. Nobody's sitting in first class. It's business class. Oh. Uh, oh, we're all sitting business all class? I mean. No, 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 no. I mean, it's business. <laughs> yeah, this is this we're all, business. We're all doing business. Yeah, we all. We all doing business. Class. Just without the class. Y'all y'all doing business without the class. I bought my own ticket, so don't worry about me. This is business. It's business, yeah. We got fucked. Bro. Wait, yeah, you're also in front? I bought my own ticket. That's great. I got my let's own shots to yeah. deep. Got let's my own guy, booked the ticket. All right, let's wrap this shit up. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah.